Welcome back, friends. Today we continue the journey into World of Warcraft Dragonflight Cinematics. Welcome back to the Philidari. To old friends and new. Good evening, friends. Now, let us begin. Welcome, everyone, back to the journey through World of Warcraft. It's a pleasure to have you all here, and I hope you're all having a lovely evening. It's great to be here, friends. Great to be here. Absolutely lovely. How are we? Let me say hi to everybody in chat. We have Charlene, My Mora, Caro, Neat Fury, Victoria, Sir Glushko, Copper Turn, Sarah B, Nightbot. Hello, Nightbot. <laughs> Unka Noah. It's great to have you guys. We are back at it with the Warcraft stuff. Can't wait to continue. Have the Mister says Honeycut. No worries. Hello, Leo, Lady Faran. Akaria, of course, Akaria, the legend, Mayamura, Kiritasu. Very excited to uh, to enjoy this with you all. Hello, Rega Shio. That's a new name for me. Great to see you all. We have a lovely night lined up here. We're gonna continue our uh, our journey. Clock out and immediately get a stream. Says Ryan. Ah, shout out to you. Welcome. I hope you had a good work day. Hello, Tuga. Out, Komak. Namanha David, how you doing? Davidovich, how you doing? Paul the Sloth, Solomio, Saren. It's great to have all of you here. So how you guys doing? Hope you all having a lovely start to your week. If you missed it, we did release the Dragonflight cinematic uh, on the channel, and I really enjoyed it. It was not at all what I expected. Very very cool, like this little short film type story. Super interesting. I got about Tony, you guys said. Carro says, moving and packing. Ooh, okay, hope you stay warm. Have you ever reacted to uh, Terror of Dark Shore? Yes, I think I have done Terror of Dark Shore. I can't, it's hard to remember the names of each cinematic, but I believe I have. We definitely did all the major ones. That was glorious, but I'm very excited. I saw uh, Akaria and the others talking in Discord. We have a list, and I believe it's about 90 videos. 90 cinematics for Dragonflight. What's up, Ahmed, Sammy? Uh, so about 90 videos for Dragonflight we're going to be working through. It's super exciting. And guys, after Dragonflight's done, probably going to take a few streams. You know, it's, it's a lot of videos. I might up the pace just a little bit. Not really the pace, but I might just watch a few and then talk about them, if that makes sense. Uh, but it's going to be really good. Oh, and thank you so much, Akaria, for the link. And shout out to our amazing mods, as always. I am going to pin, as always, friends, the Discord link if anyone wants to hop in for our new friends and, uh, and join us in Discord. Dragonflight announced cinematic was really well done. Yeah, it was super interesting, Victoria. Not what I expected. You came across my channel yesterday, Rego. Oh, that's so awesome. Welcome. It's great to have you here on your first live stream. And thanks so much for joining us. Astral Health. Anywhere I can watch. I've searched the channel. I can't. Oh, what's that, Astral? I think I'm going to miss what you asked. Um, do we have a list to follow along? We do have a list. Uh, Akaria has gone ahead and made a sweet list. If you want to drop that link for the chat, Akaria, I'm going to have it pulled up too so we can uh, so we can look at it. If you guys want to go through the list and check it out. Uh, most of Dragonflight are short videos. That's right. Most of them are short too. So I suspect we'll be going through them. I want you guys to keep in mind too, we ended up, hey, thank you for those links, Goth. I want you guys to keep in mind too that um, some of the stuff for uh, Shadowlands was like, this is like eight minutes, 10 minutes and stuff. So a lot of those are very, very, very chunky. They weren't just like, you know, minute long videos. So I think this will probably go a lot faster. Playlist for tonight, there it is, guys. So we have the playlist from Akaria. Feel free to click it and follow along. As always, it's gonna be super fun to, uh, to be able to share it with you guys and you can you can see what's coming up it's fun 
it is a good time. Let me just move it so it's going to be... There we go. All right, awesome. And I'll show you guys too off. Uh, I'll show off on the stream for those who are watching on TV or on um, on your phone. If you don't want to click the playlist, I'll show you guys what we're dealing with. Very, very exciting. Let me switch over to my reaction. So yeah, here we go. This is the list that Akari made. We got some great stuff lined up. I'm very excited. Intro dream cinematic. Cool. So yeah. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. As, as I said, a lot of them are kind of short, so I don't want to spoil myself too much on the thumbnails. So I'll leave it there if you guys want to um, if you guys want to talk about it. Oh, i got to adjust my little reaction camera, too. We'll do that before we start. Frederick says, first live. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome to your first one. I hope it's a good time. If you have any questions, um, again, viewers old and new, you can always ask. Everybody's glad to help out. Liz is in the middle of an event, still chiming in here. All right, heck yeah, good to have you. Been loving your Warcraft videos. Thank you so much, Tyler. I appreciate you. I've been having so much fun. We're almost through the cinematics. Guys, after we're done with Dragonflight, I'm gonna start playing Warcraft with you guys. If you're just joining us today and you haven't heard about the plan, that's the plan. We're gonna play Warcraft together, make our own guild. It's gonna be super fun. So I cannot wait. What's up, Alchemist? Good to see you. How you doing, man? Don't know if you watched it, but I think you might have skipped it. Did you see the fight with Garrosh and Thrall cinematic from about Yes, I did see a fight with Garrosh and Thrall, I believe, Lorenzo. Uh, it should be back in one of the live streams if you missed it. Oh, you know what? You know what, Lorenzo? I'm sorry. I think that might have been the one that got copyrighted. That might have been from the stream that got copyrighted. Unfortunately, something about Warlords of Draenor, if, that's, if that was from Draenor. Copyrighted, man. I had to delete all that. Uh, we are going to play WoW, we're going to blast it. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. FF7 Rebirth came out of nowhere. Definitely Alchemist, yeah? Have you been, uh, are you going to do a media blackout on it, Alchemist? You've been playing Warcraft 3? Uh, I have not played Warcraft 3. Uh, I don't, I'm not at my normal PC today. But I will be definitely doing more Warcraft 3 streams, as I said. I pretty much, the only problem we have is we want to do too much fun stuff now. <laughs> so, it's a great problem to have, right? We're going to do Warcraft 3. Um, I was chatting with Aaliyah earlier. We are going to do the community night. We debated doing it today, but I don't want to. Um, I don't want to keep too much time in between when we do the main cinematics like this. So we did push it back for today. Community night is coming though, uh, where you guys can call in and chat with me and Aaliyah about your characters and your Warcraft experience. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be good. It's coming. And then Warcraft three, and then wow, we're gonna be playing it. So a lot of stuff is coming. Like I said, just have to fit it all in. It's so much fun. I started my media blackout since the last trail. Oh, that's right. You already did. Uh, hello, Daisy. How are you? Hello, Nimleth. Archimedes. It's great to have you all. Yeah, this is fun too. It's always good to be at the beginning of a new expansion. It feels like starting a new journey with you guys, even though it's just, you know, it's still Warcraft. Hello, Charlene. We got so many tunes and just waiting for where we're going. Ah, oh, it's going to be awesome. Super excited for you to experience the new expansion release and go yeah yeah that's gonna be awesome the man high i'm in 100 percent as an old wow player yeah awesome caro practically foaming at the mouth waiting for the day we front yeah it's gonna be so fun unka noah it's gonna be so fun it's all been building up to this guys it's all been building up to this how you doing hot dog and sylvanas windrunner you don't say how you doing i know that name we're up to the current expansion. Yeah, and this is it. We are in current World of Warcraft, which is so new to me. It's so awesome to be current with you guys. It's going to be great. So what what is Toons? Is uh, Toons like a character? Established Toons? Yeah, very excited. Oh. I was pretty sure tonight... We're having a lonely stream. A lovely stream. Glad to be right. All right, Karatasi. Welcome. It's great to have you. That's so funny. That, yeah, Siren just said it in chat. We had new Dragonflight cinematic drop like last week or something. It is wild to me that we're going to be current. I am not used to being current. It's usually like, oh yeah, this happened 20 years ago. Let's talk about it. It's going to be just awesome to be reacting to stuff that you guys are kind of still reacting to, you know? 
Which tunes, uh, which character you're playing? Awesome. Awesome, Raging. Hey, I'll be super honored if you guys transfer characters over. Like I said, I'm going to try and make it a fun and meaningful experience for everybody. And um, I have never done an MMO like that. Um, I did stream Final Fantasy XIV like a couple times back in the day. Nothing crazy. And I certainly didn't have um, a community of this size ready to hop in with me. So I don't know how it's going to go. I cannot wait. And a reminder too, I'm also like very unversed at MMOs. Played a little bit of FF14. Every time I would log in, I'm like trying to navigate the menus and stuff. Not used to MMOs. But it's going to be so fun and I'm sure you guys can handhold me a little bit and teach me some stuff. Love to play with you guys. All right, Grizzled. Grizzled Anduin. What was the server? I did not choose the server yet. I have not really uh, turned on the game yet at all. So we'll do that after we finish Dragonflight. One thing at a time. Let's get in, you know. Hello, too high DPI. Good to see you. Different WoW characters. That's so fun. Just rushed all your reactions the last five days. That's awesome. Kether Teradyne. What a cool name. Welcome. I'm so honored you binged all the reactions, and it's great to have you live. Welcome. What a legend. Dragonflight is very cinematic heavy. I can't wait. Yeah, the cutscenes in-game get better and better. They really do. Make a new character and play with you. People can still join. Yeah, that's the cool thing is you guys can start new characters too. You know, it's it's totally up to you. I, I truly don't really know how the game works with that. So I'm going to leave that guys up to your decision. Uh, I play Beastmaster Hunter. That's awesome. Max tunes will just nuke everything. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. That would be kind of funny though. Uh, it is easy once you get to it. They've made it easier. Uh, being able to move your stuff. Oh, that's awesome, Charlene. Love to play with you guys. Hey, Tyler, we'd love to have you. Like I said, somebody said there's like a thousand person cap on guilds. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna hit it, but you know, first come, first serve. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to give some sort of preference to members if possible, but I really don't think we're gonna have to worry about it at a thousand people. Um, if that should happen, then maybe we'll like retroactively go back and try and give members. Uh, Priority, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think it'll come to that. A thousand people would be a good problem to have, right? That's crazy. I have 50, 50 characters, Charlene. That's amazing. Hello, Alex Labelle. Welcome to another live. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna blast it. It's gonna be so fun. Thing about server choice is that it depends on if you will play Horde or Alliance. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we still gotta decide that. Hello, Laura. Goober, first time live stream. We got a lot of first timers tonight. Welcome everybody. It's so nice to have you. Yeah, like I said, I good problem to have if we ever hit the character cap on a guild. That's that's a lot of people. A thousand people. I think guilds break functionality after five hundred. Okay, still, if we hit five hundred, I'll be super pumped. <laughs> I'm still going to join. All right, Black Wolves. Yeah. All the European, well, just uh, just as a sort of show of hands, who like just you know one say once per person, who would join? Uh, who's gonna join when we play Warcraft? You can just say like me or something in chat, um, just out of curiosity because there might be lurkers too who want to join. A billion cats, hello, campfire goth. Yeah, just say me in chat if you're interested in playing. Again, probably gonna be hard to count, but just as a rough look. It'd be cool to, uh... Actually, you know what I'll do? Akari says, I. I'm in 100% says Karo. Um, I might do a, uh, a poll. That's not a bad idea. We'll do it later in the stream, though. Okay, plus one. Liz, me, me, Paul, Lee, Uncano. Oh, yeah, lots of people. Michelle, Grizzle, DK. Oh, yeah, Christine. A lot of people, man. It's gonna be fun. A poll. <laughs> me. Yeah, I'll do a poll. I'll wait a little bit into stream, though, because typically a lot more people join as we go through the cinematics. I will try to join, says Wolf. You guys are awesome. Loki, Laura. I joined the guild, says Vonders. In EU as well. For the Alliance, says Grizzled Anduin. Awesome. Yeah, we'll let, we'll figure it out. We'll let you know soon about the, about what server is and everything. Again, I'm not familiar with it yet. We'll get there. Pandora, says me. Awesome. 
Well, hey, listen, for those of you who won't be able to join, if, you know, you're in, say, like, Asia, um, what we will do is, you know, we'll find ways for you guys to get involved. Uh, like I said, we are going to do the community night, and we are going to do uh, Aaliyah and I, I think we're going to do it in-game, but we are going to rate people's uh, transmogs. It's crazy that I know all these terms now. A sister guild on the same name server and name and play with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That we'll find ways. Uh, that's a good idea, Charlene. We'll find ways to get people involved, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. You know, we'll we'll do what we can. I want to make everybody feel included, even if it's just like, okay, share your characters in Discord, and we'll we'll look at them too. I want to make sure people don't feel you know left out. Hello, ogre. Doing any dragoon requests today? I might do some dragoon requests today. Yeah, that is the plan. I want to keep knocking out a few dragoon requests every stream. Um, we did a huge chunk, uh, what was it, two streams ago? We did like five or six. That was amazing. Um, I would still also love to do a solo Dragoon stream. Like I said, now there's just so much that we're doing. Um, I'm trying to combine it all as much as we can to move things along. I feel like it should roll on the Illidan server, just the thematic person. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Will there be a worst transmog category? <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. If you mean it... We don't want to be mean uh, or be like overly critical in a, in a toxic way, but it would be funny to be like, who can make and show off the ugliest one? <laughs> like, I want to see an attempt to make the worst trans model. like make it just as ridiculous as possible. Like the guys we saw in those cutscenes, like the one guy looked like he had like an underwater, like, uh, what do you call it? Like helmet on or something. It was so weird looking. Um, pretty good. I'm good to supporting. Thank you so much, Raging. Yeah, listen, Dragoons, if you're freaking out, if you're pressured, if you don't want your name shouted out on video and you don't want your name attributed to it, like, you don't have to do it. I, I appreciate the support so much, and I will do it if you choose a video, but, you know, don't stress about it. If you're stressing about it, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to come knocking on your door. Which video? Tell me the video. <laughs> Tell me the video. That is part of the contract. You must choose a video. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. So if you're stressing about it, no worries. I really love making transmog sets, often favoring the complete outfits. That's going to be so fun. Black Wolves is like, easy. I can make an ugly one. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Victoria. Yes. You love making transmog sets? It sounds fun, yeah. I, I could totally see why it's a hobby people get into. And also, of course, just showing them off to your friends and everything. It sounds awesome. Hello, Gabriel. We are reacting to Dragonflight in-game. We'll probably start in just a second. We've been chatting for a few minutes, as always. Catching up. Yeah, I'll do a poll later in the stream. Uh, and I'll just ask who would play with me if I play World of Warcraft. And we'll just do yes or no. And then we'll get, like... You know, not a definitive count, because some people are asleep and everything, but, you know, we'll we'll get in there and get some real numbers to play with. He's going to use his skull tool to scream on you if you don't choose a video. Exactly. <laughs> if it gets you to come knock on my door, I'm down. <laughs> You're like, oh, definitely not choosing one then. Yeah. Tons of ugly transmogs. Oh, you guys are going to make me laugh, I bet. Transmogs matching your pet. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah we're gonna play gabriel if you guys are new um i always forget not everybody watches and not everybody's in the discord i am gonna play world of warcraft yeah uh blizzard actually sent me the game they sent me and Aliyah the game uh multiple game codes and they're like hey thanks thanks for making the videos we like what you're doing here's the game like super honored and uh that's very very kind of them so i'm excited Play as a demon hunter is it didn't. That would be sick. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe we'll do one. Yeah. We'll figure that out. Gray and white loot. I've been on that grind. <laughs> the clown suits. Oh, God. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Blizzard sent me the game. Amazing community representative from Blizzard reached out and was like, Hey, I heard you're having some copyright trouble. Let's talk. What can I do? 
Um, I don't think they were able to remove the copyright last time I checked, but um, they were super helpful. Like, hey, send me the videos that got copyrighted. Like I mentioned, the Warlords of Draenor one. And they were like, hey, uh, not sure if we can guarantee that we'll fix it, but hey, we'll do our best. I'll look into it. Also, uh, you want some games? I was like, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> So yeah, they sent the games. It's gonna be really fun. And also, you guys on my wish list sent me, like, you guys bought me a couple months on World of Warcraft subscription. So you guys are amazing. Thank you for that. Sorry, I'm late. What's up, Valine? I was sewing. What were you sewing? That sounds amazing. The footy pajamas. You can dress up like that in the game. That's funny. That's a good time. Back in a bit. Going to the gym. Yes. Yes. The Philly Dollar grows stronger by the day. We had a great workout to do uh, today, me and Aaliyah. Really good workout. Also, got a funny thing uh, we're going to be releasing soon. Um, guys, also, I want to shout out. Um, if one of the mods can do exclamation point, Philip and Aaliyah in the chat. I believe I made that command, unless I'm insane. Guys, me and Aaliyah made a new YouTube channel. That was the big announcement last stream. If you guys could please go and subscribe and support. Um, we're trying to get to our first thousand subscribers. We're gonna have lots of fun stuff on that channel. It's just a channel for me and Aaliyah, stuff that's like that we're doing together. Um, so we know we have her sometimes as a uh, as a guest on this channel, but now we have our custom channel. Um, it's gonna be our vlogs, our cosplay, our travel, our world travel, um, our gaming together, our voice acting, all kinds of stuff. There's a couple of videos on there already, including our Jamaica trip that we went on our Jamaica vlog. If you guys want to go and support. It would mean the world. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for that, Akaria. All right, what do you guys think? Is it about time to start? We have been going for about a half hour. I think it's about time. Let's do it. Currently watching the stream, says Laura, while I glue the individual roof tiles onto my miniature wizard library for D&D. &D. All right, that sounds awesome, Laura. If you want to, you should totally share that in the Discord art section because that sounds amazing. <laughs> I love it. Stuff like that. We recently uh, started painting our Stormlight Archive miniatures, too. I'll have to share that when we get further along on them. I sadly don't have the time to commit to WoW anymore. I hear you, Ogre. The Ogre will be with you in spirit, yes! That's all we could ask. <laughs> Linda's driving home from work. Gonna miss some of the stream. Hey, don't worry. We'll be here for a while, Linda. Just drive safe, you know? Be safe. We'll be chilling. We'll see you later. Raging Altaholic. on it yeah that sounds amazing and i assume you mean almost like a diorama or like a miniature set super super cool sounding all right we'll start in just a second guys we'll pull up that playlist um i think oh also question for akaria and for you guys there was a uh, there was like a second pre-rendered dragonflight cinematic you guys mentioned i did not record that yet so if that's on the list in whatever order it would appear that would be super great well, this song just got so loud, and I don't know why. Why did it become so loud all of a sudden? Can we not? Give us quiet music, please. Okay. Hello. I uh, just leveled two characters that are 70. Ooh. Amazing. That's in the play. Oh, awesome. Yeah, super excited. I wanted to make sure because I was like, oh, I don't know if I told them I didn't watch that. So I wanted to make sure I didn't uh, trip you guys up there. So thank you. Very exciting. All right. We're doing great then. We're going to have so much fun. Yeah, I can't wait. This is going to be awesome. I play in EU, so I'll join the streams and give you guys moral support. Yeah, Enrique. Thank you. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something where we like, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Thunder Bluff. Putting a picture of the game. Pirate monkeys? What the heck is that? That sounds crazy, Christine. Let me go to the Discord. What is going on here? Pirate monkeys. What in the world is that? Huh? 
Aaliyah! Aaliyah's here, guys. So, look at this. And tell me it's not insane. These are pirate monkeys. Somebody explain to me what and how this came to be. I'm gonna make my head a little more viewable here. Um, look at those Aaliyah. <laughs> look at those Aaliyah emotes. Yeah, I still gotta add more emotes to you guys. Been busy for a couple of days, but I'm gonna do that. Yes, but what's what's the deal with these pirate monkeys? That's crazy. Also, I'm gonna pull up um, Aaliyah. Yeah, Aaliyah had a great stream yesterday, by the way. That was awesome. Oh, okay. And Lores added that. Whoa, look at that. Hey, that's me. I'm on the stream. This is a DD &D painted library. That's super cool. That's crazy. <laughs> So, you're making a set for D&D. That's cool. Did you see this, Aaliyah? Look at this. Uh, remember the Monkey King from Mr. Pandaria? Yes. Oh, I see. Busy Ogre. Hey, no, no worries. Glad to have you here, Ogre. That's super cool. An idea of the overall build. Ah, cool. Yeah. Super interesting, yeah. You can see... Look at this. We have a new dragoon! Well, an old dragoon has resworn the vows. But that's super cool. Thanks for sharing. Alright. We have something happening. Caro, 1967. We rise you to the rank of Dragoon, and we knight you for one month of Dragoon service. Thank you so much for your continued valor in the Philidari. You are prepared. All right, thank you so much, Caro. Toodles. That is so cool. And yes, there's a new sword. Or if you've watched Aaliyah's stream, you know the sword. <laughs> What's up, Saber? That sword! Yeah, it's a cool sword, right? Yeah, look at those swords in chat. You love the music? Gotta make a human and do Elwyn Forest. So, I do love this music. I do love this music. I am prepared, says Karo. Yeah, you're prepared. Thank you so much. That's super kind of you. Alright guys, we are going to start. It's about that time, friends. And thanks so much for sharing the art in Discord. Um, always happy to see it. Maybe we'll do that on Community Night too. If you guys want to share like cool art that you've done, we can take a look. Orcs and humans. A warrior! <laughs> Love from Greece. Hello, Leodrian. Hello indeed. Alright, let's do it, guys. I'm going to go over to the playlist. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. We have... World of Warcraft Dragonflight for Phil. It's gonna be a great night, guys. Let's get started. I will do a uh, I will do a YouTube intro just to have it for the uh, in case we post these separately. But it's gonna be good. Hello, Elod. Gonna play the game question. How are you going to avoid thirty to forty people following you around, or you don't mind? I have no intention of avoiding having forty people following me around. <laughs> In fact, we want hundreds of people following me around now. It's going to be so fun. Um, this is purely... Like, I'm playing purely for the community. And it is just going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to be celebrating, like, not only the Warcraft community, but, like, this community that you guys have built here on the stream and on the Discord. So, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. If we have thousands of people, or, you know, hundreds of people clogging the screen, I think it's going to be even more fun. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, first one is the end of category. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Akari actually did explain that to me in Discord. Yeah. You'll be a PvP god. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That'd be hilarious. Someone dares challenge the Philidari? It'd be hysterical. 
uh, low pop server so we don't crash it. Yeah. Only three days until my membership badge gets dipped in gold, says Unka Noah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited, guys. If you don't know about the membership badges for our lovely members here in the green, if you've been a member for progressively, it's like one month, two months, three months, your sword levels up. Yeah, your sword levels up like it does in Warcraft or in you know, Final Fantasy or any of the RPGs we love. Uh, your sword is going to go from bronze to steel to gold, and it's going to keep leveling up uh, from there. We have prepared some pretty cool ones, and we're going to release some new ones too, but nobody has been a member that long yet, because I've only had memberships for like two months, so. Nightbot agreed. <laughs> Hello, Richard! Hey, Phil and chat, love your videos and the passion. Ah, thank you so much, yeah. I just really appreciate you guys sharing so much, and I'm always trying to, uh, Appreciate what you guys provide me. That is your enthusiasm, uh, your sort of honest passion for the lore, and I'm listening. I, I am listening. I may get some stuff wrong, but I think I've picked up quite a bit. I think I've picked up quite a bit. Yeah. Like I said, even if it lags, we're, we're there to have fun, man. We're there to have fun. It's going to be great. So anyways, with that being said, let me do my YouTube intro. I'm going to pause our glorious Warcraft music for now. And let's start a new journey together, my friends. Let's do it. Let us begin. All right, I'm gonna start recording. Oh, Aaliyah gave me a new record button. How cool is this? Let's see if it works. It does work, thank you so much, Aaliyah. All right. <clears throat> Dragonflight. You do good work, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> On my World of Warcraft cinematic journey, we've come at last to Dragonflight in-game cinematics. We're going to be making our way through them today. If you've been enjoying our time together, please make sure to check out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel. Now let us begin. Thank you for the links, mods. Footsie pajamas? What? <laughs> Illidan. Hello. Hi, YouTube. Hey, wait a minute. Yes, yes. You're saying hi to yourself. Inception. Okay, friends. The time has come. We're going to start with our first one. Uh, the first one on the list is Dragon Soul Cinematics. Sounds amazing to me. Now, is this lined up? It should be. Yes. Okay. Very, very good. I'm going to make myself maybe a tiny bit smaller. All right. Yeah, you can see me. You can see me. <clears throat> there it is. We are prepared. All right, friends, you know what I'm going to say. Who wants to say it with me in the chat? Lore Masters, join me in battle once again. And so we begin. Whoa! Beautiful. This is our boy Thrall. This is Cataclysm, isn't it? Yeah. I recognize that dragon anyway. That's an awesome airship. I love the design. Is that the player character? Wait, what's amazing? Hello? Okay, that was awesome. Oh my god, he got lit up. Okay, that was awesome. I really like that one. I can feel the elements awakening. I know that voice. Rejoicing. The cataclysm mm. is over. 
Amazing. The champions who fought at our side Look at his cast. assured the survival. Is that his wife? World. But now we must see it with mortal eyes. We dragon aspects have fulfilled our great purpose. The dragon aspect, and okay. Our ancient power is expended. But though our day draws Sand. to an end, life endures and new generations will be born a baby this victory belongs to all who stood against the shadow you are azeroth's true guardians and the future of this world is in your hands okay for the dawning of the age of mortals has begun cool Okay, so that's really awesome. I see why you showed me this. Okay, so th this was back in Cataclysm. So what's happening is the um, these are the dragon aspects, the people who can turn into dragons. You're saying, right? And they have said, okay, now it's the time of humanity. And I don't know if this plays into the intro of Dragonflight that I watched, where Tony was walking up to set the beacon. But uh, I love it. it. It makes sense, and I hope we get to see these guys in uh, in the Dragonflight Endgame. Very interesting. The leaders of each flight color. Ah, I see Victoria. Dragons can turn into humanoid. Yeah, I knew that from uh, from a couple of the other scenes and characters we've seen. It's awesome that Thrall has children, especially after his like kind of questionable upbringing negative upbringing it's really nice that he's able to um maybe provide someone else a nicer life it does awesome she was the one speaking that's what i thought yeah you guys said it was uh what's her name um uh, astra astra gaza or something what's her name Ast astra astra gaza or something yeah you guys said that um, you hang out with them in the game that's awesome hey I, I love it great start off and really nice context so thank you again for uh, thank you again for providing it some really cool stuff there with the dragon like fighting the dragon as he's flying around and stuff Alex Stratza there it is thank you I'm sure I'll remember that as we cover and hear it in some cutscenes she's the big red dragon who saved Tony that was an awesome moment that was an awesome moment yeah, Alex Straza. Thanks, Victoria, for the sound out there. Za. Alex Straza. Yeah, if I hear it in game too, it usually solidifies it for me. A couple times, I think I'm like better at um sort of audible audible memory. Xanix Straza. Wait, what? Mama Straza. Wait, wait, wait. What's the truth now? What's the truth? Mama Straza. All right, guys. So this is, of course, the thing we watched, right? That's the official one. Love it. Moving on. This is Draktir intro dream cinematic. Twenty seconds. I think we can. I think we can handle twenty seconds. Let's polish it off right now. Whoa. What a video. What in the heck? Okay, that was crazy. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. I was just meant to be um, ambiguous, but it almost looked like it had the, uh, it almost had the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the animatic style of uh, of animation as the other ones. So I'm interested in it. I'm interested in if they're going to have more scenes like uh, Warbringers, which is one of my favorite. And that might be what we got coming up. I see, I see Legacies. Uh, this could be exactly what I'm asking for. So I'm, I'm impressed. Think of this. She is mommy. Yeah. <laughs> New playable. Oh, the drag theory. Okay. 
The drag deer are the uh, the playable characters. That's fun. Yeah. Amazing. All right, let's do it. That was a really short one. Meant to be kind of like a nightmare sequence. Loved it. This is it. Dragonflight Legacies. Chapter one. All right, I guess before is like war. Okay, I was just going to ask that to say, should I do, uh, should I end up doing intros for these? If it's a good idea. Should I do individual YouTube intros for these, you think? I mean, I could do it just in case. There's no, there's no harm in it. Maybe I could do them all as one video, though. It's quite long, but. It's like Diet Warbringers. Okay. Awesome. Edlord says, like, step. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm fly like dragons on their own now. Might be a good idea. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it just in case. Awesome. Yeah, that or I'll do like a, a, a you, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> a, uh, like, intro that I can switch in and out. Perfect. Okay, here we go, guys. Dragonflight Legacies, Chapter 1. Um, super interested in what this is going to entail. Um, ominous orchestral music. Hmm. Yeah, let me do uh, Let me do an intro just in case. I think it's just called Dragonflight Legacies, Chapter 1. Okay. Yeah, let me do it. Only takes one second. Uh, we are recording. On my World of Warcraft cinematic journey, we have come to Dragonflight Legacies. And today, we're covering Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Chapter 5. There's no way there's more than five, right? Chapter 6, just in case. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you're enjoying our time together, please consider watching some of the other videos we've covered on this channel. Now, let us begin. There's not more than five. Okay. <laughs> I was just checking. I got his three. We're safe. Hello, Bugra. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, see, I'm just being careful. You know, we got to we gotta look out for ourselves here. I'll just go all day. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> just keep saying it. Chapter 32. Wow. All right. I'm really excited. It looks, it looks like it's going to be in that painted style, which I love. So let's do it. Lore Masters, join me in battle once again. All right, what do we have here, guys? That was, that was effective. <laughs> I love that transformation. Yeah, really cool way to show that. Ooh. Yeah. I like how it feels like we're watching many mysteries, from behind. But few answers. Stop there. Who are you? One who would be your guide. <laughs> it says in the Tell subtitles. Me, what do you remember? So I know. From before. Cool. Whoa, did you see that? The pupil was an ass. And then I was imprisoned. I love the voice. The vocal quality here is amazing. Now, you are free. What are you? And who is no, this? There is much I would show you. He's a dragon. You for the challenges that lie he ahead. transformed from a dragon, so. I love it. Yeah, really cool intro. It's super intriguing. I'm like, what's the trial? Yeah, really cool. Um, do we get to see this, this character? Emberthal. So strange. Where are we? Where is less important than when? Huh? Many thousands of years ago. Oh, no. When our world was young. Is this the time dragon you guys talked about that can As make Draenor? was home to the ancestors of dragons. Oh. 
primitive beasts ruled by primal instincts. Look at the egg. Yet, there were a few in whom the spark of intelligence was lit. Okay. Who thought, spoke, and felt more deeply than the rest. It's a cool concept. What does this have to do with me? Were it not for them, your people would not be. Okay. From these proto dragons, proto -dragon. there arose the monster Galakrond. Galakrond. What a what a good name. Whoa! What? The <laughs> scale. Hunger would have consumed us all. It's like Ancalagon the Black from the Silmarillion. Tolkien. Impossibly big. When the fate of our kind was at stake, we five overcame the instincts oh. of fear and self-preservation. Yes, awesome. And united to battle the Leviathan. We. So you were one of these. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Great music, too, by the way. Great music. For our bravery, risking everything to save the world, we were granted a gift of the Titans. Transformed into something... Oh, the gift of the Titans? So the Titans gave them a, a boon. We became the Aspects, leaders of the Dragon Flights, the protectors of Azeroth. So is that, okay, the Titan made them the protectors, essentially, gave them a boon. Really cool. And the artwork here. In time, it's like they're peering we took on through. like this to better commune with the yeah. younger races. That's awesome. Why have you shown me this? So he's a dragon. I am Nosdormu. I was aspect of the bronze flight. It is my fate to see all of time. But now a threat to our world approaches. So all of time. An ancient enemy has returned. The future too? Or just the past? You will play a part in the events to come. And you will have to make a difficult choice. Yeah. As we did. Who is this? I am not like you. Emberthal. No. No. My story is already written, but yours and that of all Drakthir is only beginning to unfold. Whoa. Yeah, really nice music here. A call. It's a call of a journey. What? That is so cool of the design. Oh, okay. The music, the music, the music. That was really nice. Yeah, that was fantastically done. I love the sort of... Um, it's, it almost has a sinister feel at the beginning. Because I don't know this guy as much as you guys do, obviously. And then it's like, okay, what is he asking? Is he asking something sinister? And then it ends up becoming kind of this call to heroism, which I really like. And the music was kind of the guide on this. Um, I want to talk about a few shots that I really liked uh, in the beginning and then throughout. Uh, but what I will say is, if you've been enjoying our time together, please make sure to subscribe, hop in our Discord. The link is pinned here in our chat if you're new. Um, and make sure to click join if you want to become a member. All right, so let's check it out, guys. This shot I love. It's really cool. And it works because the character of Emberthal is kind of like obscured in the darkness. Almost feels like they're hiding in the dark. I'm not sure what the what the situation is or why they're in here. Uh, why no storm will had to come here, but I love this feeling of being behind the foreground here is out of focus because of this great shallow depth of field uh, But because of the obscurity it feels like we the audience are kind of hiding um, Behind trying to make out who this is. There's a really good effect um, to convey what's the feeling here So I like that this place holds many mysteries. Yeah, but few answers Stop there Who are you? One who would be your guide. Tell now this... Me, what do you remember? This is really significant. So what's happening is... He's like... Lighting... Uh, behind this halberd here. 
and it's producing this awesome shadow cast. Oh man. And what that does is it like reflects in the pupil of the dragon, so it just is, creates this really cool image. So look at that. Do you remember from before? And then at this point, I was like, who is this? Who is this being that he's talking to? I mean, the name on the subtitles, you know, doesn't really tell me much, just the name. So I think it's really, really cool. Um, and I love this. Yeah. Uh, just what a striking image. My general, a fierce battle. And then I was imprisoned in darkness. And like I said, that works really well and relates to the beginning. I'm in prison. Somebody's walking in. I don't really remember uh, who is that. You know, it's kind of like brought low uh, and sort of sort of like brought away from um, uh, from that former majesty. You know? hmm. But now you are free. What? And again, oh. now using this pupil shot, which I think is really cool in the reflection to show. What is this image? Then it comes into play later. It's kind of like peering into different pasts. Come. There is much I would show you to prepare you for the challenges that lie ahead. Yeah, really cool. So I'm curious. Now it seems like we're going to get Drakthir characters for the legacies. Maybe not all of them. But now I'm like, okay, maybe there's not benevolent Drac theater figures who are going to awaken here in these legacy chapters. So I'm really excited. Yeah, somebody just said in chat how good the voice acting is. Absolutely. Both of them, too. Really, uh, really getting across that vocal quality of like unsure. This place is so strange. I love the music in this, though. Like that. So strange, the music, this, it's got this kind of like un, uncertainty to it. Uh, intrigue, but uncertainty, I think it's so well done. And the music really is like the sort of guide through this whole video. And it kind of let me know what I should be feeling. It's very, very well done. Where are we? Where is less important than when? Many thousands of years ago, when our world was young. Azeroth was home to the ancestors of dragons. Primitive beasts ruled by primal instincts. Yeah, I really like this whole section too on the um, kind of showing them in their primordial state. They're just pretty much animalistic. Like, oh, let's, you know, fight each other for no reason. Just for territory or whatever, you know. Spark of um, yeah, somebody said to you, I, I really like how Emberthal isn't seen until the end. Yeah, there's just a couple of shots. So the whole time my mind was like, who is this? It almost felt like this was going to be a villain. And that was kind of the cool feeling of, it was like suspending me. The main question of the whole thing was, who is this person, right? So that's why I was like, I'm not sure uh, if this other character is calling this person to like an evil quest or a good quest. You know? was lit. Yeah. Who thought, spoke, and felt more deeply than the rest. This is really good, you know, good composition. Uh, again, cleverly using a reverse over the shoulder. Well, I guess just just the one over the shoulder shot, and this not reverse to not reveal Emberthal, um, and to show this awesome shot. What does this have to do with me? Yeah. Were it not for them, your people would not be. From these proto dragons. There arose the monster, Galakrond. This shot is so cool. Uh, and I want to talk about the sort of the cleverness of the shot. It's like, from the from them arose the monster. And I'm like, oh, okay, what's the monster? Then immediately, this next shot is... Monster, Galakrond. This is really cool, because when you first make out this shot, it's like the slight... Look, look at how... Um, sort of hinted at the shadow is here. So when I first saw it, I think this was the intention. I thought it was this creature in the front. I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy. Like what I'm trying to make it out. And I was almost like leaning in and then you see that? So it almost looks like this guy in the front is the monster. But then you see like, wait, what's that? Is that a shadow? Oh no. 
It's a dragon that's, you know, a hundred times bigger than the other ones. It's so well done. So I thought that was clever. Like, he eats the guy who I thought was the, the monster. I think that was intentional. It was really cool. Uh, Dawn of the Aspects book cover. Awesome. Whose insatiable hunger would have consumed us all. That was a good, that was a good uh, illustration, too, to show the bones right there. I like that. Galakron. When the fate of our kind Terrifying. was at stake, Honestly. we five overcame the instincts of fear and self-preservation and united to battle the Leviathan. We? So, you were one of these. So cool. I really like that shot where they show the different powers. That's just, let me go back a couple frames. That was just cool to see. I really like, yeah. I really like I can see the different powers and stuff. And again, um, I'm assuming, so what we just saw in Cataclysm, this this is them, right? This is the people that we saw, including Alex Straza. Um, it's really cool to see them. Kind of like, you know, working together. And it's also nice because um, what they're doing right now is kind of like strategy and looking forward to a better future and stuff. Uh, or I guess to say like strategically, is not the behavior as just like he said, what like primordial beings who are just fighting for existence or whatever. So it's cool to see them. That was cool. Yeah. I, I still don't know how they beat him. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Like they must just be really powerful. The black one is Deathwing. Oh, really? That's awesome. The dragons and cataclysm, this is what they looked like before the titans empowered them. Ah, I see. Yeah. They look a bit different. But... For our bravery. That's awesome. Risking everything to save the world. So now they got a boom. Granted a gift of the titans. Transform. So I'm assuming this will be explained, but my mind, and again, don't spoil me if it's coming. But I assume it's like, okay, what titan gave him a boon? Um and is that going to, you know, play into the story? But don't spoil if that's coming into up. Into something greater. What a great shot, man. That that just felt so majestic. Look at this. Great. They're all looking up and then ah, rising up. This is awesome. Look at the lighting. A really, really well composed shot. This is 20k years ago. Okay, good to know. Nimleth. That, that is them when that's Alex Strasso, right? It'll come up. Yeah, we became the aspects. I love that. Leaders of the dragon flights. They look the totally different. Yeah. Of Azeroth. yeah, this is the shot that I really liked where it's like, you kind of see how much control he has over time. And you see this kind of like golden, yeah. Really, really cool. I love how this is like we're looking into a portrait, you know. Uh, awesome, Makaria. In time, we took on visages like this to better commune with the younger races. Yeah. Why have you shown me this? I am Nosdormu. And there it is again, that shot of the pupil. I love the repetition in this. Very good. I was aspect of the bronze flight. It is my fate to see all of time. So I wonder what, like, to see all of time. I wonder what, like, why the Titans gave him this power. Um, almost like they could predict this would be needed. So it's fascinating. Pretty much becomes like a god of time, you know. But now a threat to our world approaches. Yeah. An ancient enemy has returned. It's cool. You will play a part in the There's events that people. to come. And you will have to make a difficult choice. As we did. Yeah. I am not And then this is sort of where we get into the re reveal. I am not like you. I don't look like you. I love that idea of it's almost like it's from our perspective. Like you. No. But again, there's that question, who is this? My story is already written. What do they look like? But yours, and that of all Drakthir, is only beginning to unfold. Redacted, huh? 
And now here it is, the music ramping up, we get this reveal. And it's like, what is this? And I love how there's a beam of light coming down and you step into it. So cool. Yeah. Really well painted. And I want to talk about just the, the power of the edit here. When the music ramps up, listen to that sound design. Oh, everything comes together nicely. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I love this one. Really, really well done. Um, yeah, and if that was spoilery, don't worry. I won't... Uh, I won't look at it. Somebody said, like, Loki? Never seen Loki. I have no idea. <laughs> that does not help me, but thank you. Awesome. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to the next one. These are fantastic. Yeah. They're a little bit smaller than, um, than the other ones. See, the other ones were, like, twice the length in Shadowlands. So this is good. They were, like, 8 to 10 minutes, I think. Um, all right, let me go back to the playlist. Loving it. Now we're on Dragonflight Legacies Chapter 2. Alright. Now, my big kind of like suspicions going into this are like, ooh, who's this going to be? Are these going to be more people that are being awakened by Nazdormu? Are they going to be bad people that are being awakened by someone else? So I like how they always kind of set up the pattern in these. Uh, let's do it. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. What is your name, child? Emberthal. Oh! A commander of the Drakthir. Oh, it's a continuation. You know of us. Alright. You are a race of fierce warriors, okay. unlike anything Azeroth has seen in many an age. I like it. In time, you may become as mighty as we once were. What? Interesting. What happened? Yeah, what happened to them? The desire for power carries peril. We were blind to the darkness in our midst. What a cool character design, by the way, on the dorm. That was awesome. What a great transition. What a great visual. All right, Behold, Aaliyah, you're the best. The Dragon Isles. In the time Family after stream. Our ascension, we aspects sought to create a beacon of hope for all the world. Awesome. Beautiful. Neltharion. Whoa. My general. Neltharion? We all had our roles to play. Oh, I love this. Guided by Alex Straza. Alex Straza. Our, our heart. We that was so cool. We all as close as Clutchmates. Clutchmates. Or so it seemed. Guys, what's a Clutchmate? For we could not hear the whispers of corruption. Am I too young to know that? Tempted one of our own. When demons invaded our world. No! We aspects went forth to protect it oh. as we always have. This is what we saw, right? This is what we just saw in Cataclysm. Not knowing whether right? we would ever again see the shores of home. No. Our brother Naltharion led our defense against the invaders. Okay, love it. But for the first time, we found our strength Inadequate. Ah. And we grew desperate. Cool. So when Neltharion assured us that with our help he could forge a weapon to win the war, we placed our trust in him. As Alex Rasa? Cool character design. And we renewed our battle against the demons. Yes. Only to have Neltharion, who now took the name Deathwing. Deathwing, yep. Turn on his own kind. Meltharion! How dare you do this thing? We could not foresee this betrayal. For we simply did not want to believe. That's so sad. Even after all this time, the pain of his treachery is far worse than the scars he left us. Wow, that what is an image. That is not the leader I remember. 
How do I know it was not you who provoked him? Fair question. You missed much during your confinement. Yeah. But the sands of time reveal all truths, child. Even bitter ones. Trust your eyes. I love it. Trust your eyes. I'll, I'll show you right now. When the champion the music faced Deathwing for the last time. Champions, that's you guys. Let's chat. He was so consumed by madness that he could not imagine what we would sacrifice to stop him. Uh. That the weapon we had helped him forge would become the means of his destruction. Wow. The music is so majestic. Music dies. Was there no other way? Deathwing would have destroyed this world. Yeah. To stop him, we aspects relinquished our power. They really did it. Our immortality. Yeah. Our guardianship of Azeroth but, itself. But he still has the time power. A just, fair trade, I believe. Just no immortality. Okay. You want something from me, don't you? That's right. It is my gift and my burden to travel the pathways of time. A burden indeed, can you imagine? Oh. But there is one crucial moment that has long remained hidden from me. What's that? I love and the music only here. only you can lead me there. What moment? This is awesome. Oh man, this is great. That's why we watched the Cataclysm first. That's why you guys are the best. Yeah, this is amazing. I'm loving the intrigue here. There's one moment even this character hasn't seen. How? What could possibly stop someone who can view all of time from not seeing? Some really cool concepts being explored here. I love it. Like I said, guys, if you're enjoying our time together, make sure to sub and check out our Discord. We'd love to have you there in our Warcraft community. All right, so... Let's go through this. A couple of really cool shots I loved. We were blind. It's actually right here. Behold, the dragon piles. This is beautiful. And I love how you see them now, like watching this. I thought that was really clever. The time after our ascension, we aspects yeah. sought to create a beacon of hope for all the world. Now, this is where Tony went and set the beacon, right? Right? Is that what happened? Beautiful. Notharian. Which That was really cool. I really like this little cut. I thought that was really clever. Notharian. My general. Indeed. We all had our roles to play. I love this shot. I think it's so fun to see uh, before it was a shadow where they transformed. I really like this kind of uh, transformation that they use. And this dolly shot that takes place here is really cool. We all had our roles to play. Yeah. Guided by Alex Strasser, our conscience, our heart. It's really cool just to see the full cast of dragons here too. Um, I thought that was really effective. Oh, okay, it's a city that's nearby, but close. Same place, different building. Okay, good to know. Thank you. And I assume this is a place you guys get to explore in the uh, in the story, right? Extraza, our conscience, our heart. All... And I love how they keep kind of cleverly including these guys who are watching, you know, in the shots. He's like, oh, you don't know where they're going to be. I thought it was really fun in the dolly shot to reveal that, oh, who's those guys? Oh, that's them watching. That was really clever. We all became yeah. as close as clutch mates, or so it seemed. For we could not hear the whispers of corruption that tempted one of our own. Wild stuff. Corruption. When demons invaded our world. I love this too, kind of like going through the timeline um, of certain things that we, you know, know happened. Like, okay, Cataclysm and uh, the Sundering, it's called, right? It's cool to see. Not knowing whether we would ever again see the shores of home. Yeah. 
Now this part is just, I love that you see the kind of um, fell green, you know, reflected. That was really clever. Good choice. Our brother now. I mean, look at this. Aerial led our defense against the invaders. But for the first time, we found our strength inadequate. So, man, inadequate strength. You're telling me these dragons who have a boon, a many boons from the titans, are still struggling against certain enemies. Man, how strong are the demons? How strong are the demons on the power scale? That, that's actually insane. That's crazy. And we grew desperate. So when Neltharion assured us... This happened because of Ajara. Oh, when she fell into the water. I see. Yeah. I like to see Nimlus just said in the chat, this is cool to me. Uh, same time Emperor Shaho enveloped Pandaria in midst. But with our help, he could forge a weapon to win the war. We placed our trust. I also love this shot because um, it's kind of clever that they had Alex Straza stay in human form for this. A lot of people might have argued, um, why is she not in a dragon form? But I actually like this choice because obviously we're human, you know, the viewers, so we can relate more to this. Also, with just the um, the way that they describe is like she was our leader. You know, she is the one that we looked to. She led us through this. So this shot is just so powerfully showing that. Her at the fore, her at the foreground, um, in the background we have these great silhouettes uh, to see everybody fighting together. But her, you know, she's front and center. She's fully in the light. She's fully color viewable. You know, she's not a silhouette. In him, and we renewed our battle against the demons. Awesome. Only to have Naltharion, who now took the name Deathwing. Really cool shot there too, Deathwing, and the music here is so sinister and so uh, kind of tension building. Um, on his own kind. We could not foresee this betrayal, for we simply did not want to believe. I love this. This is one of my favorite shots coming up. After all this time. The pain of yeah. his treachery is far worse. Such a cool shot again to have Alex Strasse, a human kind of like, you know, mourning him like that. It's such an interesting image, such a provocative image because, again, we're human. We know what that would be like to see like this grand creature, this blessed and, you know, boon wielding creature like brought low, turned evil, and we had to destroy him. It's such a sad image. Look at this great creature, and then you have Alex Straza just, you know. And the scars he left us with. That really cool. That is not cool. the leader I remember. How do I know it was not you who provoked him? You missed much during your confinement. I also like the, um, he doesn't really take for granted that he can just see everything ever. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of cool to, um. But the sands of time reveal all truths, child. Even bitter ones. Trust your eyes. You know what I mean? He doesn't get like defensive. He's just like, let me show you. You know, he doesn't be like, now listen to me. Uh, I thought that was cool. Hello, Jay Johnston. How you doing? When the champions of Azeroth faced Deathwing for the last time, he was so consumed by madness that he could not imagine what we would sacrifice to stop him. That the weapon we had helped him... And there it is again, the same shot, which I think is kind of cool. Forge ...would become the means of his destruction. Ooh. I like how even the viewer is like, wow, and they're not even there. I mean, they're there, they're watching. But I thought that was really cool. Being able to see time. Yeah, no, someone just said in chat too, and he says it in the video, like, you know, it's both a sort of a burden and a gift to be able to view all things because you would invariably feel a responsibility to like make things right and, you know, also um, 
fix things or something in the past, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the music is from the actual fight. Oh, that's so fun. Madness of Deathwing. Oh, that brings a whole new meaning to it, because he's like, his madness was too much. I love it. Was there yeah. no other way? Really good. Deathwing would have destroyed this world. Throw all steel on the kill. Stop him. We ask Roth itself. Now, this part is just so well done. The music, the music, the music is really stand out in all this. Listen to this. A fair trade, I believe. All right, ready? This really got me. You want something from me, don't you? It's like, why are you showing me all this? All right. It is my gift and my burden. Yeah. To travel the pathways of time. But there is one crucial moment that has long remained hidden from me. And only you can lead me there. So good, man. To travel the But there is one crucial moment. It's the way the music gets like kind of mysterious and dark right here. Listen to this. That has long remained hidden from me. And listen to how he says this. Like it's it's so intense how he says this line. And only you can lead me there. So good. And it's just like, you know, for the player almost, the call to action, which I like. Pre-purchased now. I can't believe this was so recent. Was, what was this, maybe a couple of years old now? Or is this not even that old? But yeah, I loved it. That was really good. Now we just have one more of these. We are going through it really quick. Um, chapter 3, Dragonflight Legacies. I love it. All right, I'll check chat for a second before I get right into it. Uh, all time, not just past, present, and future. Yeah, interesting. And how does he? Uh, how does he not? Well, don't tell me. I'm sure. But like, how does he have blind spots? Super interesting. Can we poll before our next video? Wait, you want to poll, Shay? Oh, right after yeah we can do it after why don't we why don't we finish this series and then we'll uh, we'll activate that poll that we were talking about for who wants to play warcraft with me i'm going to run a poll and um just again i don't expect it to be definitive because some people are asleep and stuff some people aren't on the stream but it'll be really cool to get a number of people keep that one in mind reasons redacted oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no spoilers but blind spots are sadly redacted at this time come back later Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Campfire Goth. I appreciate it. <clears throat> well, that's the question. Because it's like, okay. I, I won't say it. I don't want to get you guys encouraged to spoil me. Uh, uh, there, yeah, 10,000 or 100,000 years ago. So there's a big time jump between that and Cataclysm. Right, right. The War of the Ancients. Well, you guys said there's a good book called War of the Ancients, right? When will Phil play WoW? Very soon. We just got to finish this. That's it. That's it. Coach Jimmy, how you doing? <laughs> Asher as well. Hey, good to see you, Jimmy. And Asher, absolute legends. Absolute legends. Good to see you, my friend. Hope everything's going well for you. Absolutely. All right, guys, let's hop into this next one. I'm very excited. And we'll do our little intro just in case. All right, friends. On my World of Warcraft cinematic journey, we've come at last to Dragonflight. Thanks for that follow on Twitch. <laughs> oh, wait, I already did that. So we'll just say Chapter 3. All right, back to it, guys. Chapter 3. I don't know what to expect here, but... I expect to learn what is it that he couldn't see. So let's check it out. Really loving the animation here. Um, now, Stormu, it wait. just shows the power of storyboarding. You have led me through all these moments in time. Yet now you ask me to guide you? Yeah. Cool. There is a blind spot in my vision. Of a time before Nalfarian's corruption. 
and I believe it centers upon you. The music. I must know why. Seek him out in your memory. The music is so, like, building right here. My general, I love it. We get it the actual. It was my honor to command a battalion. We executed Neltharion's will precisely. I want you guys to note the color Our change here. and discipline were unmatched. The Titan artifact. That must be the source of your unity. Yep. This was an ancient magic that bound you to his will. Interesting. Would you not sacrifice yourselves at his whim? We were soldiers. There were many threats to the world. Trying to justify it. And here was the greatest. The primalists. Whoa. Look at the color difference. Isn't that so great? That is Razageth, the Storm Eater. One of the leaders of the Primalist Rebellion. Wow. He struck without warning, without honor, and I lost many friends this day. Wow. We fell back, regrouped. Then everything became jumbled. Oh, yeah, confused. the artifact. The artifact the Artifact destroyed, and the order magic which had united the Drakthir was dispelled. Interesting. How then? Was Razageth defeated? Uh -huh. So, brother, this is what you hid from us. No. The moment you fell from grace. Is it the old gods? In his desperation, he turned to the deepest evil. Yep. The power of the old gods. I knew it. Wow. If only we had known. But then, why were we imprisoned? Why did we sleep for so long? Awesome. If he could no longer control the Drakthir, he would have deemed you a risk. No. We laid down our lives for him. He was proud of us. I love this. Why would he kind of denial? The sand. I cannot see. Because you do not want to. Oh. Yet you can only become more than you are um. if you confront your past. What a great concept. You don't want to see. Open your eyes. It's literally denial. It's fantastically done. And what's the truth? Whoa. No. Oh, no. Yep. Imprisoned them so they wouldn't talk? His most loyal soldiers. Wow. So he locked us away. Forgot we even existed. Great reveal there. It would have been kinder to simply destroy us. I am there it is. Look. Sorry, my young friend. No more denial. We had to know the truth. The light clearly comes but in. Do not despair. Beautifully done. I now believe that Neltharion locked you away because of what you might become. Hmm? What we might achieve. The music's ramping up now. Free of his control. A little more heroic. And now, you are free. This world has much to offer, and you will have a part to play in the events to come. You spoke of an ancient enemy's return. It is Razageth and the Primalists. Razageth. That is why we were awakened. It seems that Neltharion yet had a purpose for you. But he is gone. 
Yeah. You must decide which path you will take. Which story you will tell. I love that as a choice now. My story will be my own. Yes. You hear the music changing? It's got a ownership now, the music. Yeah, looking on, looking on to uh, greater heights, you know, to a new bright future. I thought it was so clever. This idea about like denial and open your eyes and stuff was so well done. Like I said, guys, if you've been enjoying our time together. Make sure to subscribe and hop in our Discord to join the Warcraft community. We have a couple new members that happened during this. Let's go back and celebrate them. Thank you so much, Nora Gubert. Welcome. To the Order of Dragoons, we raise you to our highest order of the Philidari. Welcome you. Show me the swords and chat. For Laura, we knight you and name you Dragoon. Claim your equipment. Prepare. You are prepared. And we have a new warrior, Nathaniel Cohen. Welcome to the Order of Warriors. Raise your sword and claim your place in our number. Thank you so much, guys. Amazing. We have a new dragoon as well. Yeah, thank you so much. Laura, as a dragoon, make sure you connect to Discord your YouTube account so you can have exclusive access to the dragoon section. And you can let us know what video I'm going to react to. Your choice. So, shout out to all of our dragoons. Thank you. Welcome. Yes, claim your dragoon helmets in the chat. Hello, Kiritasu. Yeah. All right, let's get back to this. Uh, thanks again to our lovely members. If you guys have any questions, let us know. But for now, enjoy the perks, the emotes, the Discord access, and everything else. All right, so I love this, guys. My, my favorite part of it was this idea of uh, clearly sans. Ah, I can't see. It's like it's blaming it. Um, blaming it on him this sort of denial I don't want to look I don't want to see what happened I thought that was so cleverly done so we'll look at that in detail and uh, it was kind of cool kind of using the visual language that they've established thus far which is this kind of like portal of sand it was really cool it's always a clear view through it but then it's almost like oh, I can't see anymore it's too much sand you know so my question for the lore masters is this what was it just the denial that this character, you know, maybe that they'd just waken up from the slumber, being imprisoned? Um, number one, why did they wake up suddenly? Or were they just actually stuck in this room so they couldn't leave? Because um, he said, now you're free. What woke them up? And why didn't they know this information? Was it just kind of the denial of what was taking place? It was my honor to command a battalion. Yeah. But the other thing I mentioned was the color change here. I love this golden brown hue. Uh, when we're in this sort of like, sort of like uh, resplendent place, looking back, and then when we look back, it has this coldness. Command a battalion. We executed Nelther. It has this coldness that feels a little bit less safe. Uh, it feels a little bit more literally cold, like uh, Neltharian's betrayal. Will precisely, our devotion and discipline were unmatched. Yeah. The Titan artifact. And I love this idea as if it's us who's looking. And that was interesting to include this FPS point of view here. Um, he zooms in almost like he's watching a video. You know, it's a Titan artifact. That explains it. But I like that the story's not complete. We have to do a little bit more investigation. That must be the source of your unity. Yeah. And here was the greatest. The primalists. Yeah. And it's cool to see that they had a purpose what they were doing they weren't just kind of like a an, an inactive force they were fighting this insane threat and then sort of the dark truth of what happened with uh with neltharian is he kind of wanted to save his people and wanted to destroy this foe so it's quite it's quite bad what he did which was going in and you know deciding to uh work with the old gods so to speak or like you know take a boon from the old gods um, and all the consequences that would have but I feel like you know at least he had a reason for doing it I think that's quite nice Everything they woke up because of redacted okay no spoilers yeah thank you became 
jumbled. Yeah, I love that. Confused. The and artifact this destroyed, point. and the order magic which had united the Drakthir was dispelled. Yeah, and you can see their like eyes fade back to normal, which is a cool visual cue. A How control. then was Razagath defeated? So it seems all hope is lost. What happened here? The music too is so good. Neltharen! What have you done? So, brother, this is what you hid from us. Yep. The moment you fell from grace. In his desperation, he turned to the deepest evil. So the cool. The power of the old gods. Yeah. Um, I want to say something that's happening in chat. If you guys want to discuss spoilers, hop in Discord to the World of Warcraft channel. We have a dedicated one. I'm not checking it during stream. Go bananas in there. Talk about all your crazy theories uh, or spoilers that are confirmed. I'm not going to look at it right now. Um, so have fun. And you can get it all out if you're like ugh, losing your mind, wanting to talk, talk about spoilers in chat. Um, and somebody had a great idea. Who said that? Uh out Comac said, can we have a redacted emote? Yes, that is a, such a good idea. Uh, I will I will talk to Aaliyah about this and we'll see if we can figure out like how to how to voice that because that's hysterical. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Had you have a good time out? Awesome. All right, I'll see you in a second. Thank you. Yeah, go crazy in the spoilers in there, guys. We'd love to have you uh, chat, and that's why we made the community, just a place you guys can chat with your fellow fans and like, yeah, have a have a nice place to talk. Um. So yeah, let me. Uh... I love this. Now this is the point in the video where it's kind of like, all right, I guess we've solved everything, but it's not. It's not it. If only we had known. But then, why were we imprisoned? Why yeah. did we sleep for so long? Here it is, the dark if truth. If he could no longer control the Drakthir, the dark truth. he would have deemed you a risk. No. Yep. We laid down our lives for him. He Aaliyah. was proud of us. Why would he stop this so sand? So sad. I cannot see. Because you do not want to. I think that is the coolest part for me. Um, stop the sand! Uh, like as they're talking, why would he? Why would he? Ah, get rid of the sand! Like interrupts uh, interrupts herself. Yet you can only become really more than you are if you yeah. confront your past. So cool. It's kind of like yeah, it's gonna be a really painful, inconvenient thing to learn, but you really got to do it. Open your eyes and you can move on. And look at that. I love this shot right here in the animatic. You see that very powerful stance. It goes from cowering and afraid to, look at this, huh. kind of stepping forward. And look at the shoulder placement and everything. It's a powerful body language. And that was really, really good choice by the animator. And look at that, like boldly goes into the unknown, essentially. Great. And again, I gotta say, like the performances, obviously the artwork's fantastic. Shout out to the painters, but also the um, the music. Like I said, it's been the, it's been our guide through this whole thing. It's really perfectly telling me what I should be feeling at all times. Like it's it's exceptionally done, really good. Yeah, really well done. And then the silence, cold, cold. Truth, you know, cold revelation. Right? It's like I said before, that blue has a coldness to it. And just absolute shock, you know? So sad. And looking upon herself, you know? And it's just, you know, a personification of, of turning your back on someone, right? It's so sad. So well done. So he locked us away. Forgot yep. we even existed. 
It would have been kinder to simply destroy us. And like I love this that they that they give her a moment to kind of sulk and feel that pain and not to be like, anyways, it's okay, that's a long time in the past. Like they have to pay off in the writing that idea of this is gonna hurt. You're gonna be better if you hear it, but it's gonna hurt a lot. And you're gonna have to face that pain. So I love that they take this moment to kind of have her collapse and feel it, you know. I am sorry, my young friend. Sit with it. We had to know the truth. Yeah, and then I like the apology but too. Do not despair. I now believe that Neltharion locked you away because of what you might become. Now this again is the intrigue. We might achieve. I might become free of his control. Yeah. And now you are free. This there. world has much to offer, and you will have a part to play in the events to come. So good. You spoke of an ancient enemy's return. It is Razageth and the Primalists. That is why we were awakened. It seems that Neltharion yet had a purpose for you. So it showed uh, Radagast, not Rathagast, sucked into this portal by the old gods, I assume. How... Well, I'm sure it'll answer, answer this in a minute. Michelle, yeah, the workout was good. Awesome. Great to have you back. Carro says, I can't post anything on the Discord. Uh, you should be able to. You should be able to. Uh, if you're having trouble, let us know uh, in, in what manner, and we'll help you out. Uh, but I really like this. But he is gone. You must decide which path you will take. And I love, again, look at the difference. So what happened before? It's just such a cool kind of um, contrast between these two characters, right? We have uh, Nosdormu versus her old master. The old master did not give her a choice. Took away the power of choice and said, you know what? You are now going to be imprisoned and you're going to serve me with this Titan thing. Uh, no question. You have no choice in life. That's that. Uh, which is so sad because they didn't know that. They're like, oh, it's this great leader we had. It's like, oh, they were tricked into you know, feeling that emotion. But in this, it's no, now you can choose what you want to do. You can do whatever you want. You can go, you know, sit down and eat some cheese and watch YouTube all day if you want, or you can become a new hero. Which story you and it's like tell. It's really cool. My story will be my own. And just look at that shot. You have this kind of like de decision making frame here. Story will be my the shadow of another dragon passes over that's the possibility for this character and then you know it shadows them they look up my story will be my own my own and the music oh the music just powerful empowering music right it's so good it's so good yeah absolutely fantastic like it's just you know, this is the power of storyboarding, uh, of having a really good art direction in general. Let's, say, let's have the music hit here. Let's have this frame go into here. Let's have the shadow and the lighting. All the tools of the craft coming together, man. And those last like 20 seconds. Fantastic. Yeah. Wait, if I let the world end, I get to eat cheese and watch YouTube sold. <laughs> yes, exactly. But fantastic. Um, that shadow is Rathion. That's amazing. That's so cool. You guys said I'm Rathion. It's always us. <laughs> How many times have we saved Azeroth now? Cheese and YouTube. There it is, Bounce. I love it. But yeah, fantastic. This was so good. Um, I'm very impressed with this. And I think those are all my standouts. Yeah, the music, the storyboarding, so solid. And they've always been in these animatic type things. The paintings are great. Um, and they have such an attention to detail in the framing and the composition because they're painting them from scratch. Right? It's, it's going to be really good when... Then you take that sort of artistic, uh, you know, sort of microscopic decision making with it. It's not just like, oh, we have a camera, we'll move it that way. It's no, we're going to create each image from scratch. And it's a, it's a very high effort sort of uh, filmmaking. But I love it. Fantastically done. Great animation. Shout out to the team as always. You guys killed it. Um, all right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to do our poll, guys. So I'll put on our Warcraft music for a moment, friends. I'm going to come over here. So, I'm going to run a poll on YouTube. This is a very important poll. So stick around and answer this if you don't mind, friends. So, starting a poll. The poll is... 
Will you play? Oh, thank you so much, Aaliyah. Thank you. Aaliyah has brought me a boon. The poll is, will you play World of Warcraft with me? I'm going to be making a guild in World of Warcraft. Okay? You guys are going to have the opportunity to play with me in the game. It's going to be a lot of fun. So just a simple question, yes or no. Um, uh, we'll leave it at this for now. Later we might ask, you know, what server people are going to be honest. Though. Let's just say yes or no for now to get a rough count. Um, and we'll go from there. And I know everybody's not here right now. I know some people are asleep, uh, are in different time zones. So let's just do this. And then maybe we'll run another uh, poll in Discord or on YouTube. Okay. So that's it. Will you play World of Warcraft with me? It's starting. I'm going to leave this poll up while we take a break. All right. This is also going to be our snack break. Make sure you vote just so we have a rough show of hands. All right. There's no time limit on the poll. I'll just turn it off when uh, I'll end it when I come back. All right. So I'm going to leave it up for a couple of minutes. Everybody, this is also a snack and stretch break. Make sure you're healthy. Make sure you get a nice stretch in. Stand up, move around a little bit. Um, get your favorite snacks, get your favorite beverage, and we're going to continue our amazing journey to Dragonflight. I am loving it so far. So shout out to everybody for being here. Got an amazing audience tonight, and um, I'm having a great time seeing everybody here. So, all right, I'll be back in a second. Going to leave this on, and we'll be back, my friends. Make sure to sub if you're new. Hop in the Discord if you want to chat with our Warcraft crew. See you in a second.
All right, friends, welcome back. I see a lot of you guys have voted. Almost 200 people have voted in this poll. This is amazing. Um, I'll leave it up for just a couple more minutes before we end it and we'll get our definitive number, but this is really exciting. We have a lot of people weighing in here. It's a very, very exciting amount. Um, but hi, everybody. Good to see you again. And I would love to hear about what snacks you got or beverage you got. And then maybe we'll do another poll after. And we're going to continue Dragonflight in just a second. We've already covered all of Dragonflight's uh, legacies tonight. So we're killing it. Somebody said uh, <laughs> that if you're in the EU, the guild should be called the Step Philidari. That's very funny. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys are something else. I'll tell you. <clears throat> Oh, you guys are so funny. Hey, we're doing good. We're about two hours into the stream, guys. Covered so much ground already. What a great night. Don't forget to upvote the video. Yeah, thanks so much for the likes, guys. Um, thanks so much for the views. Got almost 2,000 views on this live stream. Madness. Does coffee count as a stag? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Let me hear about these snacks. Um... Fig Newtons and green tea. That's amazing. Chocolate Easter egg snack, says Lord Crafty. Laura says, chomping on some veggie straws because I'm an actual three-year-old. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with veggie straws. I used to enjoy them myself. That's fantastic. I'm having coffee with an old-fashioned donut. Oh. oh, that's good, Noah. That's good. Hey, cheese got a burger. Sarah B with the carrots. I'm all in for the step Philadari, yeah. <laughs> yes. Taco Bell, papaya, raisins, Earl Grey tea, lasagna and Caesar salad and blueberry wine. Dr. Pepper and a fruit roll. What is a step Philadari? It is redacted. Cheese and YouTube. That's right, Edge Lord McGee, cheese and YouTube. Cantaloupe and Sprite, General Sow wings and chai tea, pretzels filled with peanut butter. Potato Straganov, Ginger Snaps and Water, Bami, and drank three whole garden. What the heck? Chocolate cookies. Making popcorn? Should I make sweet or salty? Salty. Kira, salty. Protein smoothie. Somebody was eating something so nasty it got redacted. Pasta bake. Uh, I'm cooking, Akaria says, some pan seared chicken with steamed broccoli. That's no snack. That's a feast. Homemade shredded chicken with cabbage and cream cheese. Wow. Tea and toast. No, that's my kind of snack. Caro. Licorice Scandinavian style. What is that? What are you doing with an Easter egg this time of year? I had Domino's pizza. Two for Tuesday. Deal. Couldn't resist. All right, Zelly Moogle. I like the Moogle name. That's for sure. Finishing up some spinach, chicken, and rice. SM Share. Making burgers, says Ron. Reheated some leftover fried rice. Salty popcorn with a bottle of Coors. Some powerful choices here. Hit that like button, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I'm having some protein, uh, some red lentil protein pasta made by Aaliyah. She's the best with pesto. And some uh, plant-based meatballs. Very good. <clears throat> Domino's pizza licorice. Yeah, what is Scandinavian licorice? Caro's getting hungry. Listen to all these snacks. Yeah, I love hearing about snack time. <laughs> oh man, you guys are funny though. The Philidari. All right, what do you think? We have, wow, we have 224 votes. I'm going to leave it up a little bit longer. We're getting a lot of votes. Hold on. Isn't plant-based meatballs called plant balls? Uh, it should be called that, huh? <laughs> Scanda? Oh, man. Salty licorice. Pesto meatballs. you going to make me... <laughs> Alex! 
Alex, thank you so much. The first live. Welcome. Welcome to your first live ever. You had algorithms exam today. Woo. This is making my day. Hey, happy to do it, Sonny. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, keep voting, guys. We have over 220 votes, and we're really compiling this to know um, just a rough count of who's going to play Warcraft with me. Again, I know some people are asleep in different time zones, but this helps. <clears throat> Loved your reaction videos in Jamaica. Looked awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, Alex. Guys, if you haven't checked out, please, if somebody wants to drop that link in chat, please, exclamation point, Philip and Aaliyah, check out our new YouTube channel, guys, and subscribe. We're getting to our first thousand subscribers. We're on the road to it. You can see um, all of me and Aaliyah's cosplays, travel, vlogs, voice acting, gaming, all kinds of fun stuff we're doing together and huge projects on the way, so. <clears throat> Some snacks from Sweden. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Campfire. FF7 Rebirth. Oh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be insane. <clears throat> Thank you, Campfire. Puppy wants my wings. <laughs> 1 a.m. Got home from work. All right, Attila. Welcome. Great to have you. We're going to continue once we uh, finish our snack talk here, and this poll is done. Almost 250 votes. <clears throat> Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, if you want to click on that link to our new channel, appreciate it very much. All right, almost done with my snack myself. <clears throat> Will my lady play WoW with me? That's the plan, yeah. Blizzard actually sent me two copies of World of Warcraft so that Aaliyah can play with me. It's going to be super fun. I cannot wait. Um, yeah, some, they're talking about alt accounts too. Um, I don't know too much about that, but yeah, we got to be careful with not having people um, have like 20 alts to like take up the, the space in the guild. We want to make sure everybody has a chance to join fairly. We have a new member. Oh my goodness, we have a new member. This is amazing. All right, guys, we have a new warrior. Sanjata Wit. Welcome to the Order of Warriors, the Philidari. Rise and claim your place in our number. Thank you so much, Senjata. Or is that Senhata? Welcome and thank you so much. Let's get some swords in the chat. We're probably going with the Philidari as the guild name. Not positive yet, but... Would be awesome to play with you both. Yeah, that's the plan. You know, hopefully we can all play together. Hello. Beautiful. Yeah, welcome. It's gotta be. Yeah, it's it's probably gonna be Philadari, guys. I I can't imagine anything else like being more appropriate at this point. So. All right, guys, almost 250 votes on this poll. Let's close it out. Let's get to 250. If you haven't voted yet, get in there, and then we'll uh, we'll continue on in a couple seconds. <clears throat> Ali will be the step guy. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. You totally play uh, WoW, says Lada. We'd love to have you. <clears throat> Alex Tasha. I like that name after Alex uh, Straza. Yes. 
Oh, you guys are so funny. But yeah, it's gonna be the Philadelphia. I mean, unless something else comes up, I just can't imagine it. Wow, Brewmaster had a lovely snack there. Thanks for sharing that one. What's up, Mike? How you doing? You just messed, I think we did maybe maybe five or six cinematics so far tonight, but they were quite long, like five minutes apiece. Alex and Nastasha, uh, uh, Natasha, that's so fun. Would I consider playing Classic WoW? Yes, I would. But uh, it's going to depend on, you know, can the community play with me and all that stuff? Kona says Phil should play a monk for martial arts. Eh, we'll see, maybe. I don't think monk's available in the beginning, right? That's a fine question, Urugash. Um, what's my plan for WoW? Am I gonna go to the current stuff? Am I gonna do old stuff? Uh, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll kind of, you know, ask the community on that. But um, yeah, I don't know what the best choice is there. Maybe we can all talk about it. Okay, so we have 261 votes in. Amazing. I think uh, Monk is available. Monks are... Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, it was Demon Hunters. That's right. I'm sorry. Demon Hunters not available. Monks are. So pretty much it's going to come down between uh, Monk and then you guys said, what is it? Warrior? Was Warrior the other one? You said it's just like super cowards die first, like I say, you know? Abby Joe. Yeah, you know what? As I think about it, I'll probably just leave this poll up for a little bit longer. Um, let people vote who didn't get a chance to. I mean, I don't see any downside to leaving it up. We'll end it maybe after a couple more cinematics. Because, you know, a lot of people aren't on the stream right now. There's no reason to take it down right away. I wouldn't mind making a Demon Hunter Bane. Um, yeah, just want to look at it and see uh, see what it's going to be all about. Draxthir can only be evokers. Oh, but they're brand new, right? There's probably like a 0% chance I make a Draxthir, honestly. Melee or ranged? Definitely melee, not ranged. I can tell you that. Oh, really good tea. Thanks, Leah. All right, guys. Demon Hunter, Death Knight, Evokers are the hero classes. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, guys. I'm going to leave the poll up. Let's continue our cinematics. This has just been a heck of a night. I'm telling you. So much. I am going to pause our lovely World of Warcraft music for a moment. I know... Um, Let's let's continue. Let's do it. You start at Tutorial Island? Is that really the place? Is that what it's called? That's too funny. All right, guys. Here we go. Back to our playlist. Dragonflight. So, we are on the seventh cinematic of the night. Thanks for that shout out to Twitch, guys. Yeah, follow on Twitch. We still got some great plans for Twitch as well. We probably do more Twitch movie nights as well. So if you guys want to participate in that, we already had our Warcraft movie night. It was sick. Um, so lots of good Discord events on the way as well. You need to have a, a hundred and... Oh, okay. You need to be level 50 to do drag theory. I see. I see. I see. Perfect. All right. Let's continue, guys. This next one is called Drag Theory Battle... Ekrazatal, the Ebon Scales cinematic. Sounds awesome. Let's watch it. Whoa! Hey, the in-game graphics look a lot better. 
scales strike as one wow look at the mouth animation on the drag fear even it's really good oh that's crazy yeah they are just roasting him Awesome voice. They are unworthy of the dragon blood in their face. They mean nothing. Leave them. The elements have granted me the power I need. Who is that? At long last, like a minotaur. The mistress of the storm shall be free. That's uh. That's Wrath Wrath of uh Wrath of Radagast Wrath of Don Wrath of Dast. Right? The Mistress of the Storm. Fantastic. Lovely. Okay, that was awesome. I'm getting some backstory. I don't know who that like Minotaur looking guy is, but I'm super intrigued. Um and now that brings us to Rathion. Oh, Rathion. I know that person. And Abyssian. Meet Emberthal. Oh, okay, Emberthal from the uh, from the cutscene we just watched. Amazing. Talrun, Razageth. Sorry, there it is. <laughs> Razageth. I'm not even sure what all the race options are, though. I assume they're the ones that I know from the cinematics, right? Like uh, trolls, humans, orc, half orc, stuff like that. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, let's click this. So, Rathion. I see Rathion, I click. I'm a simple man. Is that Rathion's dragon? Speak of form? A storm. The threat is greater than you know, young one. Abyssian. I the fear ancient. these primalists seek to release something ancient. Something terrible. Why should we trust you? Oh. Were you sent by the Earth Warder? Where is Neltharion? Neltharion? Rathion. It seems there is much you do not know. That's Rathion and Dragon. I am Abyssian, and this is Rathion. We will answer all your questions in time. Yeah. But we must join forces and strike now, or the enemy will prevail. I love it. This is our home. The Drakthir will defend it. Awesome, yeah. We will fight beside you, but you do not give the orders here, dragons. Okay, that's fair. I like the so be it. Fine. But do try not to get in our way. <laughs> His voice. After all. I know a thing or two about vanquishing ancient adversaries. Yeah, that's right. Rathion did it in uh, to the old god, right? Ancient adversaries. Yeah, Nimlus makes a good point. Maybe do an exploring the game stream sometime to figure all that out. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, we'll figure it out. But we're going to be doing that very soon. I mean, we're almost done with all the cutscenes. I love this one. I love the reference to the old stuff. I love how they're building upon the ideas that they uh, that they established. Kind of using, um, kind of using uh, what is the character's name? It just escaped me. Uh, the character that was in the legacy cutscenes is that it right there? Emberthal, right? So kind of establishing and building upon what we've learned from Emberthal, uh, applying to the other soldiers. Who were also imprisoned, I think is what's happening here. I think that's cool. That's really good to do. There's a lot of Where characters. Where is Neltharion? Neltharion? I love how they're like, Neltharion? What the heck kind of, you know, last update business is this? They don't know what's going on. <laughs> they're like, they're still back in the Burning Crusade expansion. We gotta catch them up. Rathion is a drake. Awesome. Welp. Many whelps, many, many whelps. It seems there is much you do not know. I love that. I love how they delivered that really, really clever line there. And this is great, yeah. I love how they're building up on all the stuff that was already uh, present. And here we go. This seems to be Razageth the Storm Eater. 
seems to be this character that was just present. Um, this Tower N Minotaur. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Whoa! He's, he's reviving. Yep. To set you free. Why is he serving her? Whoa! No! Oh, stone to the fit. That's awful. That's awful. Don't tell me a word. The elements sing. Oh, that's terrifying. They herald a new age oh. for this world. Yep. They're fine. Have you found my kin? We know where they are imprisoned, Storm Eater. Soon, their bonds will be broken. Ah, and what is this? No! The brood of Melfair. Oh, I no. felt his demise reverberate so through the earth and reveled in it. Perhaps you wish to share his fate. What a cool design. I had wished to become what he was meant to be. What he should have been. You do not fathom what dragon kind was meant to be huh. but you will ah. go tell them we will scour this world of the titan stay let the storm be the harbinger of our return great voice acting that was awesome. I really like that one. Um, the reveal was really cool. And I like this shot, like showing the scale difference. Like, oh no. So good. Like, this is a fearsome beast down here, by the way. So, how cool is that? I had wished to become what he was meant to be. What he should have been. Interesting there. I like the reaction. Do not fathom what Dragon Kind was meant to be. And I thought she was going to kill him right here, but I like that uh, this kind of weird, like, arrogant challenge. What's up, Christopher Morales? Welcome. But you will. I love that shot, too. Like, uh, you know, it shows how, how the power scale is. Go! Awesome. Tell them we will scour this world of the Titan stay. Let the storm oh, be the harbinger of our return. I like how he's like barely able to fly away. That was awesome. And we have another dragoon. Thank you so much. Christopher Morales. Been a dragoon for one month. Hey Phil, it's been awesome seeing you react to WoW, I'm a new player too. Can't wait for the guild. The Philidari awaits you, Christopher! <laughs> Thank you so much for one month, the Dragoon. We salute your service. Let me see the swords for Christopher and chat. A loyal Dragoon. For one month. Thank you so much, Christopher. I appreciate the ongoing support. Very excited to continue doing all the uh, viewer choice too. Do some more of that tonight, a little bit later. We have over 300 votes. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the poll up. Like people keep joining the stream, and you know, who haven't, uh, who weren't here before and stuff. So it's quite, it's quite nice. Yeah, arrogance is her defining trait, says Sir Lushko. Yeah, I could see that. I actually quite like that in the scene. It's like, oh, she's gonna destroy him. She's so much more powerful, and they're they're spending so many shots, voicing how much bigger, how much stronger she is, and then it's like. Tell them I'm coming or whatever. It's just like, ah, classic, classic mistake. You know, you could have won like that. Look at those swords in the chat. Daniel, how you doing? 
Two Daniels. Daniel Sierra, Daniel Upstone. And Danny G. Lots of Dannys. That's great tea. Wow. She is so terrifying. Yeah, I love the design. Like, I don't know what is going on here. Really, um, really unique dragon design. Like, there's just tusks everywhere and everything. It's awesome. Um, what the heck did I do? Oh, I went down to the playlist by mistake. Okay. But yeah, I loved it. That was fantastic. More votes are coming in. The more the merrier. Let me close some of these duplicates I've got open here. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, keep those votes coming, everybody. Keep them coming. The more the merrier. Uh, just gives us a better metric of what we're going to be doing. What's up, Oostface? Did I miss a lot? Uh, you have missed so far uh, nine cinematics. Going on the 10th in just a second. Yeah. An expansion where we have the questions like, is the Titan really the good guys? That's a cool, that's a cool question to have, Attila. I like that. All right. Continuing on, we are coming to Razagoth warns Nosdormu. Ooh, I like that. So we get to see Nosdormu in game. I think it's going to be my first time. I think. Let's see. Arrogance. I am pleased that not all of the aspects have met a bitter end. Not yet. Yeah, very vindictive. I can hear that in the voice. Tell your queen. I am coming for her. Yep, arrogant. The storm's reckoning comes through. Wow, that performance was awesome. The release of Razagel heralds great danger for this world, just as your awakening heralds great change. The kingdoms of Azeroth must be warned. Go to them. Along the way, you may discover a new destiny of your own. Mm. That was great. I love that one. Yeah, not not too much, uh, you know, static shot for most of it, but it was really well done. Um, I love. I love this performance. Like you guys know, I'm super into voice acting. Um, which, by the way, if you haven't seen my new voice acting, you should check out Twitter. Um, I recently voiced Ganondorf for Zelda's, uh, for Zelda for Leah's Zelda playthrough, and I had a lot of fun voicing Ganondorf in Ocarina of Time for her. Uh, so yeah, check it out if you haven't seen it on Twitter. But I love this performance. Look at how she just builds up, and I was like, oh, she's building up. She has, she's gonna come back down. Just kept going up and up and up, and exploded with this last line. Super impressive. Listen to this. The storm's reckoning comes for you all. The release. That was wild. <laughs> Such a good performance. <laughs> that was awesome. I just wanted to shout that out before we moved on. Um, really cool cinematic. Okay. Moving on. The Drakthir leave the Forbidden Reach. Sounds good to me. Let's see what they're doing. It all, it's all checks out. There they are. Dark Talons, fall in. We have to leave the Reach. Lead the way, Abyssian. Busy. Orders will follow I like all the voices. Children of Nilfarian, you have awakened to face a shattered past and an uncertain future. Yet the threads of fate weave a new path to distant shores. Where are they gonna go? Huh. The sands of time will speed your wings along the way. Tell the world of what you have witnessed, and warn them of the storm to come. Awesome. The music was really cool in that, too, for being... Whoa, this is really cool looking. Um, for being such a short cinematic, they always 
have music that just works perfectly. It's fantastic. Um, I wouldn't mind a small drought. This is really exciting because I see our friend, a Tempest Unleashed Dragonflight intro cinematic. Uh, intro cinematic? Is this is this it? Is this the other one? Let me see here. Okay, a Tempest Unleashed. This looks awesome. We have over 314 votes, guys. Keep them coming in. Those Dormu is so much bigger. I was going to say, he seemed quite, like, less threatened by her. I don't know how the power scaling works, though. Well, I'll ask more about that when we view more. I don't want to get into spoilers yet. But, um, yeah. This one might be worth an intro. Okay, maybe I'll do an intro for this. It's a good one. Yeah. Definitely need a new player server. That would be sick. Those door moves so much bigger than all of them. Yeah, he's he's cool looking too. I love the design on all the dragons. It's really hard to create like many different designs for all these different uh, people. So Rathion is uh, because he's younger. He's smaller. Okay, that makes sense. He's still a whelp. Many whelps. All right, guys, let's do it. Uh, what is this? Should I do an intro for this? A tempest unleashed. I mean, I'll do it just in case. It takes one second to do. Let's do an intro. Why not? On my World of Warcraft journey, we've come at last to Dragonflight. A Tempest Unleashed. I love anything with Rathian, so I'm very excited to see what happens here. If you've been enjoying our time together, please make sure to check out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel. Now let us begin. Lore Masters, join me in battle once again. All right, let's get to it. Yeah. Big shout out to Akaria. Yeah, somebody said let's hear it for Akaria. Akaria has made these playlists. So I want to shout that out uh, very much. And thank you so much, Akaria, for helping us out and making these streams run really smooth. It means the world. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's check this out. Tempest Unleashed. I love that shot. It's unnerving. It's confusing. It's reminding me of Ocarina of Time Forest Temple, which is that's a good thing. Look at all this I did not shot. expect to see you again so soon. Is that friend. Chadgar? After you'd answered the call of the Isles. What? Something has happened, Chadgar. It's Chadgar. Something terrible. Galakos. Tell me. It all happened so quickly. Galakos? And Rathian, young as he is. Bravely or perhaps foolishly tried to stop it. No, Rathian. But he was too late. The tempest had already been unleashed. Great sound for that roar. Holy mama. It's so good. The music. Bom, bom, bom. It sounds like doom. It's so good. She let me live. Great set piece. Okay, with Rath a message. What's the message? They are coming to cleanse the world of yep. the Titan's stain. No, Tony. Is that Tony? Alex Straza. Who is she? Alex Straza. What is she? She is Razagath, youngest of the primal incarnates. First time I've seen her in the incarnates? game. Incarnates? Four dangerous adherents of the elemental forces. At the dawn of the aspects, oh, that's our flights embraced the Titan's gifts. Okay, they embraced the boon. They did not. Oh. The war that followed was unimaginable. Okay. And it took all of our strength combined to huh. banish them. If they were so dangerous, why were they not destroyed? It sounds like Anduin right there. I hadn't so the earnest. heart to do it. We were once as clutchmates. Clutchmates. Time, it seems, has not quelled their fury. And look at us. Should she free her kin now, look at Tony. we haven't the strength to stop them. 
Great. And if Iridicrum's hunger is unleashed, She's then like, we have no choice. Don't even say it. I love that. If we are to be protectors once more, the Very aspects happy. of our dragon flights must be made anew. Okay. How so? So that's Our why you Queen can... is determined, Kedgar. But we've only just begun to find who we are again. Great shot of the books. And I fear that without help, we may never get the chance to see our future secured. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! He's like, time to go to work. All right, Chadjar. Then it seems the mortal races too must answer the call. Yes! And face the storms ahead. Yes, Dad God! Yes! That was awesome. I did not expect to see him in this place at this time. Uh, that was really good. Yeah. Well, no, I've, I've seen her before, but not in Dragonfly. I should have clarified it. Uh, we've seen her in just the animatic earlier. Uh, with the updated graphics, she looks so different. This is awesome! She let me live with a message. Yeah, this one is really good. There's a lot of different set pieces. I love how this plays out. It actually plays out like, um... It plays out like one of the, uh, you know, Warbringers or something. Uh, what was the next what, what was the one with Khadgar? Warbringers, War... What was it? Remind me. Not Warlords. What was it? But Harbingers? I think it was Harbingers. But yeah. It plays out like one of those because we have this sort of like pre-rendered ability to tell a little bit of a short story and change uh, change set pieces. We also have the ability to uh, do a bit of a montage, which is really good. Clutch wife. I did not expect to see you again so soon, my friend. After you'd answered the call of the Isles. Yeah, I recognize this set. Is this the set from Harbingers? Cadgar? Oh, man. It's so cool. Harbinger. That's it. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. I'm like, what the heck was it called? Caligos, the blue dragon. Something has happened, Cadgar. Now... This tower was also in the Warcraft movie, or no? Is that a different tower? Yeah, that was that was in the Warcraft movie. I know it's not 100% canon. In fact, it's probably less than that. But Same tower. Right, right, right. I should play the Legion expansion? Yeah. The glass is still broken? That's so fun. Something terrible. I like to think he doesn't repair it on purpose, because he's like... It's a reminder to whoever comes in here and wants to mess with me. I can send you out that window at any time that I want. All right? So you just remember that when you're talking to me in my own home. Calicos. Look at him. Look at him. Little legend. Tell me. It all happened so quickly. And Rathian, young. But yeah, I love the, the jumping back and forth and stuff. This is what I say should be happening a lot more in um, in video games, but the problem is really being pre-rendered or not. Um, if it is not pre-rendered, it's very, very difficult to make this happen unless you're on like the PS5 with, um, you know, or a super high power PC, which has like no loading. Which, what is it called? Uh, solid state drives, right? Phil gets more DKP, he remembered. See, yeah, I'm paying attention, I'm paying attention. Uh, Karazhan is super canon, okay. As he is, bravely or perhaps foolishly tried to stop it. Yeah, and we get a flashback. But he was too late. And it's just awesome, too. I love the, uh, it's in the film, yeah. I love the, um, the music here. Making it even more, sort of, like, terrifying. Unleashed. That was great. With a message. This set piece is fantastic. Now, this is, of course... The, the land of the dragons that has now been beaconed and, and available to the dragons again. They are coming to cleanse Tony. the world of the titan's stain. So I have a question for you guys. Tony, I'm assuming, does not speak, right? Does Tony not speak? 
I would do much to hear his clear voice ring across the halls of the dragons. Tell me Tony will speak, but I much desire to speak with him. Cadgar voiced by Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Ogre! Good to see you, Ogre. Uh, he does speak? Yes! He does speak. It looks like you. <laughs> Thanks, Aaliyah. He can speak. He can speak. He's just soft spoken. That just made my day, man. I was afraid you guys were going to say, Tony, don't speak. <laughs> he has a whole storyline. Ah. Did I see when Sargras put the, the, the redacted in the planet? Yes, I did. I did see that. But Chad didn't because they always say, what sword? When we talk about that. He's very stone-faced. He is quite stone-faced. <laughs> Tony's a strong, silent type. He speaks when it's important. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Kuranos is Tony's real name. <laughs> uh, we have almost four, 350 votes on the poll, by the way. That's great. Yeah. What redacted? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, I, I should have known it was coming. I should have known it was coming. <laughs> but it still hurts. <laughs> oh, you guys are wild. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. So, what redacted? You guys are too much. All right. I love the cinematic. It's really well done. Um,. Again, this is the first time I've seen Alex Straza in game in Dragonflight, and the uh, the character design is really popping on all the dragons now. Like the kind of the the graphical ability has caught up with the designs. I feel in a really satisfying way. Alex Straza, out. who is she? What is she? We have a new dragoon! Oh my goodness! This is amazing. Bane. Welcome to the Order of Dragoons. We knight you this day and raise you to the highest ranked warrior in the Philidari. Now rise and claim your place in our number. Claim your helm and your sword. And let me see all of us raise our swords for our newest Philidari member. Thank you, Bane. You are prepared. Wow, another Dragoon. You guys are crazy tonight. This is going to be so much fun. We got a lot of Dragoon videos to watch. It's going to be fun. Thanks so much, Bane. Please, please let us know what your video is going to be. Can't wait. Nearly 300 people planning to play with me. That's going to be so much fun. 300 people running around in World of Warcraft causing utter chaos. I can't wait. Sounds like a dream. Yes, let me see those Dragoon Helms in the chat for our glorious new member. Man, I just want to say I'm having so much fun with you guys. So, so much fun. And I'm so glad that like we're going to play together because these streams are amazing. And it's going to be awesome that it's not just going to end when these cinematics are over. It's like, okay, we get to play together. We get to continue. And you guys get to see my reaction to the actual gameplay. Um... And I'm sure I'll have cutscenes in the gameplay to talk about. You know, we've obviously seen some of them, but it's going to be awesome to see them in context, you know. So, thanks. And yeah, guys, as always, make sure to hop in that Discord. Um, we are almost at 360 votes. I think maybe I'll take it down at the hour mark. But, uh, yeah. Who wants to crash the server? <laughs> Hello, Athena Pendragon. Is that an FF14? Character, by the way. Oh my goodness gracious. We have a super chat. A first super chat. On a live stream. What? This is amazing. Caro, 1967. 
Thank you so much for the hundred, your first super chats ever on a live stream. The honor is mine this day, Taro. Thank you for this boon. We will use it in the Philidari with grace and thanks. Thank you so much, Caro. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for this boon. The Philidari will now take over Azeroth with this boon. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome. Hello, Chimera Kate. And hello, everyone. I don't know if my character is going to be named yet, Ogre, but uh, oh, there's so many good choices. But yeah, like I said, look at the detail now on Alex Stratza that they can get across in the game. And it, it's able to have this like really nice sort of almost Disney aesthetic um, with the characters and how they can um, how they can showcase them. Like look at the hair and the horn and the, these details in the armor and the feathers. They are not something that was that was available to the artists um, for the in-game stuff, especially at the beginning of Warcraft when we're looking at like Wrathgate and cinematics like that. It does not look like this at all, right? It's it's such a big leap and bound. So like, it's kind of cool that I would say never forget the Wrathgate. <laughs> never forget the Wrathgate for many reasons. For many reasons, all right? To honor Sorfang, but also, <laughs> but also this, like look at the thing. And then this being pre-rendered too, we have a really beautiful lighting taking place on the character. So anyways, awesome. Here we go. Thank you so much, uh, Caro, 1967. Rough. So I really like this um, this design, as I said. And something to note is both with the other character, um, what is it, Cal Caligost, the blue guy with the blue hair. Hit both him and Alex Straza, the expressions are really well done. Look at this. Youngest of the primal incarnates. Incarnates? Even Rathian. For Dangerous adherents of the elemental forces. At the dawn of the aspects, our flights embraced the Titan's gifts. They did not. The war that followed was unimaginable. And it took all of our strength combined to banish them. If they were so dangerous. Yeah, like people in chat are saying it's it can be a bit jarring. Um when they use old models for the characters with like new graphics or the opposite or you know vice versa so it's really cool that now that we're on dragonflight we're going into war within it's like we really are kind of seeing everything coming to a head like everything's finally caught up with its own aesthetic if that makes sense and it's just really nice to see you know like there's not any low poly textures on this or i should say like just poor textures on these polygons. Um, everything is beautifully rendered. It's like a fully realized aesthetic. And it's so nice to see um, from the journey I've been on. It's like, okay, I can see the vision of the concept art early on. And now it's like, finally, we can see it. Somebody said, good night, Annie. Good night, Annie. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So anyways, let's check this out. Why were they not destroyed? I hadn't the heart to do it. We were once as clutch mates. She got, somebody said she got her new freckles in this expansion. Um, so she went back into the uh, character creator and modified her, uh, her transmog, her, <laughs> her appearance. It's okay, you know, the game, that, the update, she's just playing around with the mechanics just like you guys do, it's fine. Time, it seems, has not quelled their fury. And look at us. Should she free her kin now, we haven't the strength to stop them. And if somebody said roll a mecha gnome, what the heck is a mecha gnome? You can roll a, a robotic gnome. Uh, something that really stood out to me when I saw this was again the strength of the character design, but really in the variety of characters. So I really like this. Like, this is uh, um, those Dormu, and you can see Alex Straza, the cool tail and everything. This is, you, got, you got Tony over here, this guy with the blue, Rathian, like, just really solid uh, character design, good variety, good colors. It's really fun, and of course, they are the dragons, so they have, like, color-coordinated, but it's great. Strength to stop them. And if 
Iridicrum's hunger is unleashed. Then we have no choice. If we are to be protectors once more, the aspects of our dragonflights must be made anew. Our queen is determined, Khadgar. But we've only just begun to find... Yeah, I love this shot. It's so weird, <laughs> visually. Um, and it kind of shows that Khadgar is you know, such a powerful mage. He's able to you know, float his books that he wants to currently read in the air while he's just like reading them. It's, it's just such a cool visual. And it also is just so obscure and kind of abstract. We also had this first image of, uh, of the character walking down the hall, which is one of my favorites. But what this tells me is it probably has a, um, like I said, this is so Forest Temple, Ocarina of Time, uh, the kind of winding illusionary hallway, which to me says that Khadgar has placed like kind of magical traps in here. Uh, and kind of magical barriers that keep people out, which is really fun. So then he also has his books floating in the air. Like, this is a powerful mage we're talking about. Mecha Gnome Fury Warrior. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, really, really good. Um, to banish them. Really good character designs throughout. The broken window. Yeah, I was trying to get... Let me get a better look at this broken window. Hold on. Was it right here? Not expect to see... I want to get a look at this broken window. I did not expect to see you against answer. Where is it? Something terrible. Thanks for that follow on Galagos. Twitch. Tell me. Young Hatchley tried to... I don't know, I can't I keep missing the window. Where is the broken window? Am I insane? Oh there it is, there it is. it's in the bookshot, yeah. Really, really nice shot of the broken window, which provides, of course, this beautiful ray of light, and it's just like stylish. Our queen Visual. is determined, Khadgar. But we've only just begun to find who we are again. And I fear that without help, we may never get the chance to see our future secured. This is just such an awesome shot too. It has a heroic feeling to it. Such a clever shot. So what happens is we have the books going back, right? And then we have this. The shot of the staff, which then, you know, comes to him. I mean, come on. The mortal races too must answer the call and face the storms ahead. And there's the broken window, which serves a, you know, it, it allows for this view into the storm. I mean, come on, that's just so good. Yeah, really, really well told. Um, again, like we talked about with, um, what was it, two cinematics ago, everything come together, all the tools of filmmaking just being used like solidly. It was great to see. I love it. So yeah, beautiful cinematic. The Tempest, we have finished. And I think we are on this, yeah. The launch cinematic. Very excited. A mecha gnome. <laughs> yeah, we saw, we saw the Warcraft, but we had a movie night over on Twitch. It was so much fun. Uh, we do want to do more of those in the future, too. All right, guys, we are at an hour of having the pull up. So I think we'll probably stop it in a second. Uh, people are talking about different races. <laughs> Love it. Next vid is hype. I'm pumped. Now I know exactly who that is, too. So I'm really excited. We're going to do a YouTube intro for this one, for sure. All right. Um... Intro for the, yeah, thank you, Tornelius. I'll do an intro. Yeah, so we are coming up to an hour on the poll. Uh, I'll give you guys one last chance. If you can get a chance to vote on the poll, go ahead and do it. And then I will, uh, I will take it down. Hello, goddess of fate. Great to have everybody here who's just joining. We're deep into our uh, cinematics tonight. I don't know how many we're on, but a lot. 
Mechanome Shadow Priest. That sounds crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought those words would all go in a sentence? All right, I'm going to cut it off. The poll has ended, my friends. Uh, I think I have to do it over here, actually. Hold on. In this window. All right, so can we get somebody to do some mathematics right now? Can somebody run these numbers? So we have 389 votes. What is 77% of 389? That's how many people are going to play WoW with me or say they want to play WoW with me. Danny! <laughs> Do I not see my YouTube icon? Say, if somebody can run those, do we have any mathematicians among us? Somebody wants to run that real quick. And then we're going to watch this. Akaria has done it. 295.64. So around 300. <laughs> Several. You guys are so funny. It seems like we have the exact 295.64. 299.53, somebody says. About 300. So here's the thing, guys. When is Philip going to play Rathian in a live-action Warcraft movie? Uh... We'll see. <laughs> that would be very fun. Who's going to be the point fifty three? <laughs> 272.3. Where are all these numbers coming from? 299.53. <laughs> a couple people said 299.53. Uh, who are we cutting into thirds for this? Whoever, you know, whoever's the last to type in chat right now. Uh, not me. No, I don't know. I'm kidding. We are the several. You guys are hilarious. I volunteer to be the point six four. says Jerry. Oh, no. Allergic to math? Yeah, me too, Charlene. Lots of decimals repeating, of course. Oh, I see. Okay. Edgelord volunteers. Oh, my goodness. You guys are so funny. Yeah. 300 is hype. By the way, this is not everybody. Like, a lot of people are asleep. A lot of people are asleep right now. Um, it has to be a mecha gnome. Oh, you guys are so wild. The bold 300. <laughs> yeah, and, and listen, a lot of people won't be able to because a lot of people are in Asia. So. Step number? <laughs> I can't with you guys. I can't. <laughs> oh, 389? Point seven six says Akaria. Oh, you guys are so funny. Um, yeah, a lot of people are asleep. Yeah, and listen, a lot of people voted no, so we have we have a nice uh, sort of counter number, if you will. I think we'll definitely we'll definitely be able to launch with a few people. Yeah, this is amazing. I mean, I think we can probably safely say a hundred people. I mean, we'll see, you know, especially because I'm going to be really building that up um, over a long time. I'm not just going to hop on a random stream and start. Wow, we're going to like build it up for a long time and, and let people know it's coming. We have a new warrior. Theory Carver. Welcome to the Order of Warriors. Rise and claim your place in our number. Villadari await. Thank you so much, Theory Kara. We have a new warrior, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. What is the max number for a guild? I know Lightning has a thousand. I mean, it's got to be at least a few hundred that they allow. I don't know, though. You can invite either faction to the guild. Oh, good. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Phil's going to have like 500 pets traded to him. <laughs> 500 pets? Is that a thing? That's so funny. What was the poll for? Archimedes. The poll was for uh, who's going to play World of Warcraft with me. Um, and it was the... Just to get some rough numbers. Don't worry. If you didn't, if you missed it, you're not like kicked out of the game or something. Uh, I just wanted to get a rough estimation. But we had about 300 people. Not mentioning people who are asleep you know, and aren't awake right now to participate. So The max is 999 members. 1,000. It's going to be so fun.
Battle pets? Is that like Pokemon? Do we have any Pokemon fans? Pokemon in the game. Oh, there you go. I mean, hey. Sounds fun to me. I have 1,600 pets. What the heck, Lord Crafty? That's crazy. You can get pets to do battle with. That's so funny. The guild is gonna be high. I it is gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. It's gonna be so hype, guys. Pokemon built into WoW. That's so good. Thanks so much for the likes, guys. Did we get to 100 likes? You guys are the best. <clears throat> Gotta catch them all. Battle pet. You guys love battle pets, huh? It's called Beast Master. Beast Master Hunter. Five hundred sixty-two pets. Says Finorian. What the heck? <laughs> you guys are wild. Collecting pets and transmogs was my motivation. Interesting. I love how Sonny's just, just typing the lyrics to the Pokemon song at this point. I love it. I'm a battle pet and a mount collector, says Ezra Kaplan. 1500, says Fellmaster. You guys got a lot. 1700 pets? Unique pets? How many pets do they have in the game? So wait, how many pets are there in the game that you can catch? What the heck? It's one of the main reasons I play, says Victoria. I, I knew nothing about this. Yeah. Oh, thanks for reminding me, Ron. I got to do an intro for this one. Here, I'll do that while we're talking about Pokemon. And wow, I did not know that was a thing. All right, here we go. Uh, I guess we'll call it Launch Cinematic. Okay. On my World of Warcraft cinematic journey, we have come at last to Dragonflight to launch cinematic. Another pre-rendered cutscene in World of Warcraft. Another pre-rendered cinematic from World of Warcraft. I can't wait. If you've been enjoying our time together, please make sure to check out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel. Now let us begin. How is there so many Pokemon in the game? 9,000? Are you serious? I have 400 maps. You guys have so many. Wow. I'm impressed. 1750? Oh, some are retired. Oh. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> you guys. You guys are next level. I'll be running Xmog runs for the guild. Heck yeah. That's so cool. Horrible waste of data space, really? <laughs> Toys to collect? What the heck, man? This game has it all, doesn't it? 20 years of collectibles. Yeah, that'll do it, right? I know some of you guys have, uh, have been playing for 20 years, so it makes sense. Anyways, all right, guys. Let's enjoy the launch cinematic. Um, I'm super interested in this. This is the other pre-rendered one that I was confused when we started. Should I do this one first or not? So. Let's check it out. And here we go. Huh. Is that a, is that a walrus? Okay. That was a great reveal. Now, okay, is that a player character? Who is that? Hey! Oh, man, you can feel the momentum on that. It's kinetic, man. I could I feel like I was on a roller coaster right there. That's a great shot. Yeah, really, really well done. Shot selection. And the sound design like, whooshes down. Oh come on, the water on the lens, that was super clever. And then she has the water on her goggles, just like perfectly illustrated. 
there's a story and there's a drama and the music is voicing this before we even know what's going on. It's, uh, uh, Nsira. What's her name? Oh, there it, yep. I love it. This is the enemy that was just awakened uh, with Rathian trying to stop her. That is so cool. The scale is monstrous. So well done. Now, is this Cadgar's place now? Huh? What a cool shot. And now that we know these characters, what an awesome heroic build up right there. It's like showing off the new powers in the game, too. I love it, man. It's victorious right here. It's like, there's a drama with this particular character. Is that Alex Stratza? Look at the awe. Fantastic. Yeah, I know from the horn. That's Alex Stratza. Wait, what? She can create life? Epic orchestra. What a shot. That's absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that was, that was not what I expected. I like how that one was a little bit more of a showcase of the stuff that's going on in game, but there's just a beautiful drama and a voiceless drama to this sort of like this little sub story that's going on with these dragon riders. And of course it's very indicative of like, oh, can I ride a dragon in the game? Um, which is really, really fun. Um, she can create life, that's insane. That was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Like I said, if you've been enjoying our time together, make sure to subscribe. Hop into our Discord, to our World of Warcraft community, because soon we're going to be playing WoW. I'm making a guild in the game, and you can play with me and everybody. It's going to be so fun. So hop in there if you want to miss that, and click the Join button if you want to choose a video for me to react to. All right, let's look at this. There's some beautiful shots going on here. Um, this beginning is really well done. This would be a really kind of um, fun start to a film. Because I love that we get this sort of context here of this guy just playing, fishing, and then silence. Whoa! You know, you see the scale and the speed that they're flying at, which then kind of pays off in the next couple shots, where it's like, how do you control this thing? It's got to be really hard. So I love it. Oh, here we go. Fellmaster has done a super chat. Thank you so much. Fellmaster, thank you so much for the two. The walrus people are Tuscar. They like soup. <laughs> Thank you so much for that super chat, fellow master, and for the two. I am super curious about these guys, and if they like soup, I like them. All right, let's continue. But you see what I mean? It sets up the payoff, isn't it? Really nice character reveal. That kind of like wobbly feeling. Super, super telephoto shot. Um, really, really punched in lens. Yeah, and then we pull back. And again, you see sort of the, the scale and the majesty of what's happening. And then I get the feeling that with this um, with this uh, troll who comes in, it's like, oh, this is a bit of a competition, isn't it? It's really well done. And then this shot is just, it is beautifully done. I think it's significant because we go from this like really nice, probably like 50 millimeter, uh, maybe a little bit more of a portrait touch, and then we pull back a little bit. Oh, but it's just so cool because it drags you behind them. Um, we pull back just a little bit from that portrait lens. Man, maybe it was like closer to a 70 or an 80. You pull back to what feels like a 50, maybe a 30, a little bit wider, so it feels like, whoa! You get that feeling of almost like vertigo when it drops. You see that? Yeah, we pull back to maybe like a 30 millimeter, and it's just gives this feeling like, you know, when you're falling in Minecraft where you kind of go like, oh, you almost get that feeling like you're actually falling. Great step. And I mean, just, just kinetic. Like I said, that's the word that I came up with here. I mean, that's the word that comes to mind. I love how now we have this really, really tight shot uh, with the telephoto and we're like tracking 
you know, trying to keep up with them, just showing the speed and the power of these beings. Really well done. Great, great, great cutaways too. It's just super well storyboarded. Um, we get the character reactions and the cutaways to be like, but we're still having fun, you know, even though it's dangerous. Now we go into here, and how clever is this? We get the spray on the lens of the water, and then we cut to the close up. It's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up. Whoa! And then you see the water whisking off the goggles, like from the speed. It's just like, it's visceral stuff. Like I always say, when you get down to these sort of, um, I'm gonna love dragon riding races, they're in the game. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, I'm gonna love that for sure. But what I like about this, I, I always say this when we get these sort of like naturalistic powers uh, and, and, and things happening in these videos, stuff that we can all relate to, right? Like it's a visceral feeling to have like water, you're being blown so fast, you're moving so fast through the air with such velocity that the water is like drying. Um, it's a feeling we know from driving, uh, from flying, all these things we've done. Really nice choice too to go with the uh, the pulled back full shot to show again the the sense of space that's being covered. Just a great variety of shots here. Birds chirping. And yeah, what what is it? Did I say it wrong? Is it is it in, is is ah. I've heard so many dragon names today. Help me out. Is it in, in, in Sarah? Miss Sarah? What is her name? This is the character who helps fight uh, um, uh, in uh, Shadowlands with Tyrande. And like that is just such a cool. Uh, is Sarah? Yeah. That isn't Is Sarah? Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> These green dragons, I see. Oh, that's right. She's Dex. She's in the Arden Wield, right? Yeah, I love this too because it's like we go from the kind of happy chase in the beginning to this crazy section, which is very dramatic. The music. The music has changed quite a bit, hasn't it? So awesome right there. Look at this. Almost gets a bite. Blast through the rocks. Amazing transition there, by the way. We go inside the maw and then we come to this other kind of like circular descending shot. Really beautifully done. This is a cool little section here. Um, it's very reminiscent of the first First World of Warcraft uh, cinematic, is the trailer for the game. You know what I'm talking about? Just shows the characters kind of going like, ah, ha, and like showing their magic and everything. It feels like that. It's kind of a fun callback. Do you guys agree? Look at this. Yeah. There's, there's no, we don't know what the character's firing. And this is the character from the, uh, from the Legacy series, right? Um, we don't know what they're attacking. We don't know what's happening here. There's no context. It's just a fun showcase. And then there's this transformation. Like, whoa. And the amazing transition across the screen. But because of that, there's no context what's going on. Are they training? Are they fighting? Are they whatever? Um, I love that it's reminiscent of the old stuff. Showcasing the new race just like the classic vibe. Yeah. So good. And then again, we have this beautiful finale, which has more of a feeling of like... Um, Okay, we made it out of the danger. We're done with the dangerous part of the racing. Now we're just relaxing. We're enjoying the beauty of it. Which is cool because it's showcasing all the things you can do in here. Yeah, we survived. We raced. And then we have a good big dragon, Alex Tratza. Such a cool design with the ornamentation. And just creating life, it's, it's insane. Like, what? It's, it's gorgeous, and everything about it. And I would say it's really everything coming together again, the music, and then of course, kind of saving this beautiful sunset. Woo! 
And it's beautiful. And it's really smart of them to kind of make the horizon obscured, but it has this very circular, if you look in the composition here, very circular um, sort of mold of the clouds here, which is beautiful. So it draws your eye right to all these dragons, of course, and also this horizon. But what's cool about it is it's obscured. You can't really see what's there. Is it the sunset? Is there anything there that they're heading towards? Or is it just they're flying into it? But what it means for us, the viewer, is kind of endless possibilities on the horizon. Um, anything you can dream of. You can ride your dragons and go anywhere. Beautiful shot. And just an explosion of colors um, taking place after this set piece, which is here. You know, it was quite dark. And then this one. You know, it was a dark night. The dragons chasing. It just saves this, like, beautiful, rewarding, warm, welcoming shot for the end. Oh, and the music is just... The music is like, it's like a fanfare. It's celebratory, you know? And it's also like feeling like a new adventure. Yeah. It's a tonal shift, says Chimera Kate. Well, yeah, listen, that's the other thing. After we had just seen, um, after we had just seen the super intense uh, conclusion to Shadowlands, which is really like a story that's been going on for how many years? You know, pretty much a decade or more with the Shadowlands kind of um, concluding all the stuff with Sylvanas. And that's the dragon riding theme? That's so fun, if that's in the game. That's so fun. Just dripping the pure joy. Yeah, that's that's a great way to put it, Huthor. So much joy, so much fun going on here. And, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta, it's just like with FF14. FF14 had Endwalker, and now they're like, okay, we're starting a new journey. I feel like this is kind of a similar thing. Okay, we, we finished Shadowlands. Let's go in a new direction. Let's have fun. It is a very good. So, okay, what we're going to do, I, I love this. Uh, for those watching on YouTube in the recording, thanks so much for being with us. Make sure to subscribe, hop in Discord. Um, on the live stream, guys, we're going to take a quick break. We are three hours plus into the stream. Let's take a breather. Let's get a stretch break. Use the restroom if you need. And then we're going to come back and do some more videos. I can't wait. But we've covered, how much have we covered tonight so far? That was 13. 13 and three of which were like five plus minutes heck of a night man heck of a night already so yeah let's take a quick break and we'll come back and continue uh this is so much fun i'll give you some warcraft music to chill to and thank you everybody who voted in our poll make sure to hop in discord if you haven't the discord link is pinned up top in the chat if you guys want to hop in and you're not there already see you guys in just a moment
welcome back guys having a great night so far um we've covered so much it's been fantastic how we doing did you guys get any more snacks or anything we've covered more than i thought we would tonight because i didn't know we were gonna get the the five minute ones done quite well but yeah my idea is this can i ask akaria um, or anyone that has it, can we get the Dragoons list um, in the chat? I would love that link right now because I am on a different room. I'm in a different room right now. Different computer. My cook's asleep, says Charlie. <laughs> no snacks. I just sat down. All right, come here. You've walked three miles, Shay. Awesome. It's not just exploring, it's also com completing the story quest, Costco. Awesome. Thank you, Akaria. Aliyah! Ah. Thank you, Aliyah. All right, we have the viewer choice list what is going on here it is like glitched out on my screen what's going on here oh yeah Kari, i said you did some you did some organization here too which is awesome thank you so much baked beans for the philidari Grabbing Mucinex. Oh, I hope you're alright, David. Three miles is a good walk. That's a fantastic walk. Yeah, good job. I saw a couple people getting their workouts in today. Shout out to everybody who did. Yeah, sorry you're feeling down, David. Feeling sick. What is a skull drop? Sarcasm. The face drop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So much fun, guys. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with... I think it's because I have the text turned up so uh, so big here. I'm having trouble seeing the full list. I don't know why. Huh. Almost done with Way of Kings, Connor? Ah, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're watching it. You're reading it. It's like one of my favorite books ever, if not my favorite. The whole Stormlight Archive. I was just saying earlier, I was working on my uh, Stormlight minis too. So what? I think I am at the top. Okay. Movie night suggestions is different. Awesome. That's a lot of fun. Okay, watched. Yep, yep, yep. Can I ask you something? Uh... Oh, okay, never mind. I think I am in the right place. Yeah. Sorry, my computer is just looking a little weird. I have to turn the um, the font like huge to read chat, <laughs> so it's kind of hard to like navigate stuff sometimes. Everything's so big. My weekly quests. You started the Lord of the Rings walking challenge. What is that? What is the Lord of the Rings walking challenge? That's so fun. Okay, so I have the viewer list here. I believe the first one on it is, uh, let me see. So yeah, the first one we have on it is, it's by Ugarkai, and it is a StarCraft remastered 2017 movie, all cinematics HD. So it's like, it's over a half hour. Um, so I'm probably gonna skip that one for now, because it's so long. Um, yeah, unless there's a specific one you want me to watch, Ugarkai, if you're in the chat, I'm not sure if you are. Uh, all cinematics is definitely a lot to choose for one video. So I'm not sure um, how to go about this, if there's like one that you want to see most out of all the cinematics. Um, but yeah, if you could choose one, that would be sick. I should have everyone's first suggestions prioritized by post date. Okay, that's. I think it's perfect then. Because the first one I'm seeing is Uger Kai. Does Phil need glasses? Sort of. 
My walking is limited to 100 feet every few hours. I will. Uh, that's. I don't pay money for an app. And walk through. Oh, okay. This is it. So you pay money for an app. Walk the route of the fellowship. You get a snazzy medal for each section completed. Wait, you mean you literally walk the route of the fellowship? Like you go to where they went? Or do you mean you walk the equivalent distance and it explains it? Because that's really fun. That's really fun. Yeah. Um, are we done with WoW stuff then? Well, no, because there's actually a lot of WoW stuff. In fact, it's almost primarily WoW stuff on the viewer choice list, what I'm looking at right now. So we're not. <laughs> we're going to continue on with WoW just from the viewer choice list right now. But the first one is uh, is Star. So if Ugurkai is not in chat, I may inquire about this in the Discord, and then we will um, we'll re we'll revisit that. But I would love to see. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna probably go with Sergeant Morales, two 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 three's choice right now. World of Warcraft, Unreal Engine five. This is seven minutes, but it's definitely more uh, more palatable. Yeah. Imagine walking to Mount Doom every day. Wait, wait, wait. It has to be like hundreds of miles, the actual route of the Fellowship, right? I mean, I know they took like canoes and stuff too, but... Okay, awesome. So I'm going to click this one for now. This is Sergeant Morales. It looks crazy already. <laughs> Okay, give me one second. Okay, I'm just adding these to the correct window. Ah, we should be good. All right, sorry, just organizing stuff. So we're gonna do a little bit of viewer choice. There's WoW on here, so we're gonna get right to the WoW stuff. All right, here we are. This looks insane. <laughs> so let's watch some of this. This is our viewer choice from Sergeant Morales2223, if you're in the chat. Feel free to tell me, um, by the way, I want to do this for all the dragons to remind you guys, if I'm watching it while you're in chat or even after the fact, if you want to comment on the video, feel free to tell me like why you chose this one, what you like about it, um, anything you want me to notice, like definitely why I, why I do these so I can appreciate what you guys like about them too. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let me pause my Warcraft music. And let's see, this is World of Warcraft in Unreal Engine. It already looks insane. Let's see how this goes. It's the same music that I was just playing. Whoa! Oh, that's beautiful. What? So wait, th is, this a, is this a complete build from the ground up? Or is this like, you know, uh, this is basically player wish list. <laughs> is this someone who like is playing in the WoW engine and like customizing? Well, it said Unreal, I guess. So they they remade the map in Unreal Engine. Okay. I mean, it looks beautiful. I don't know how different this looks in the game, but I mean, from what I've seen, yeah, this is a huge upgrade in the visuals. But I will say I like how the, they've retained the art style. They rebuilt everything? Are you serious? That's crazy. I mean, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I want to see more of the character faces and stuff. To uh, I really want to see the art style. From scratch? Whoa. Yeah, this is fantastic. I love it. Also, I love this music, which I know from the playlist that I play for the stream. We still gotta do the World of Warcraft music night. Whoa. Beautiful. There's like this haze effect. Which is super impressive. You guys see that? There's like this golden haze. It's just amazing. Wow. Look at the rock. 
so much detail. Birds too. Well, here's the thing. So, what do you? I mean, obviously, you guys prefer the real game because that's what you're playing. But I mean, this is definitely a fun exercise to look at, if nothing else, right? Yeah, really, really good. What is that? Are those enemies? What the heck is it? What's coming? Are those beasts? What is that? Ah! <laughs> what the heck is that? It was like axolotl or something. That is true to game? That's so funny. Whoa. Okay, this is beautiful. That was a great shot. <laughs> Murlocs? What the heck? So many Murlocs. Yeah, why were they like overlapping each other? There's so many. That is real. Frog people? What is that? That looks really cool. Fish frog? Oh yeah, I know the Murlocs. I fought them in, the, in Warcraft 3, didn't I? Yeah. I'm trying to look at more of the character. It seems like they actually just lifted the character models from WoW and dropped them in here. Right? Because the character models look a lot more um, WoW ish. Oh, also, question What engine is World of Warcraft made in? If you guys didn't answer that, is it a custom engine? Scarecrow robots? What? There was a Murloc cameo in the movie. Oh, Abby, I think I remember that. Yeah. Wow, look at the lighting right there. That was awesome. Yeah, those look like a straight export. It's a custom engine? Okay. Warcraft engine. I was going to say, it almost looks like it's the engine from Warcraft 3, but like, you know, boosted up, built up. Yeah, these, these models have to be, like, they, they look exactly the same as the game. There's, obviously the lighting is a little bit better, but... It is the same engine? Okay, awesome. Lovely. Spaghetti engine, says Bounce. Hey, I trust the kids. <laughs> I trust the kids on this one. I mean, this is gorgeous. It's awesome to look at all the uh, cinematics. Whoa. So the interesting thing about this video is, it's pretty like, the, the most detail is in the environments. Like the rock and the trees are particularly stand out. It's kind of crazy. Really well done. See. Wow, like the fire, yeah, all the environmental stuff and the, the elemental stuff, like fire, looks ridiculous. Step engine. <laughs> I mean, look at the rock, that really is the best. Woo! That's a shot right there, beautiful. It was like an abandoned mine or something? I'm into that. That looks fun to explore. So does that. Yeah. Lone tree. Some great photography in here as well. Shout out to the creator. Nice photography. Is that same bridge? Ooh, that was cool. Yeah. Nice shot with the sunken ship.
Making character models would probably be a lot harder, and each model would take many, many hours of work. The PAL world creators agree with you very much. They just took the models from Pokemon. And that is plagiarism. One of the first dungeons. That was awesome. That was fantastic, yeah. I very much enjoyed it. Shout out to the creators. And shout out to Sergeant Morales for this awesome pick. Again, I, don't, I didn't see Sergeant Morales in chat unless you have a different name. Um, so let us know what's up uh, and why you enjoyed that. Or if you wanted me to notice anything in particular, feel free to also like let me know later in Dragoon chat if you want to, uh, if you missed the stream live or comment on this video after. This is awesome. This is very awesome. You know, take candle. Wait, what? What does it mean? Well, I very much enjoyed that. That was sick. Let's go back to the Dragoon list. Thank you so much, Sergeant Riley. Great pick. Um, next up we have, let me just check the timer on this. We have Jimmy, the World of Warcraft story. This is by Ogre. Oh, Ogre, are you still in the chat? The World of Warcraft story. Have I seen Lament of the Highborn? Yes. I believe I have. Wait, Akaria says no. Take. Wait, what? <laughs> no. Take. Jimmy Story. Alright, Jimmy Story. I don't know what this is, but it sounds really fun. Jimmy Story. Oh, oh! this is old school, I'm thinking, because it's, <laughs> this looks super classic. This looks super classic. Phil is not prepared for Elwyn Mines. Oh, I get it, because I was like, I want to explore there. All right, so this Dragoon choice is by Ogre. Ogre was in chat earlier. Um, I don't know if Ogre is here right now, but Ogre, if you're watching this after, like I said, or if you are, uh, if you pop into chat, let us know what's going on, uh, why you like this, why you chose this, anything you wanted me to see. And that goes for all the dragons too. And you can always tell me that retroactively if you didn't get to tell me in the dragon chat on Discord. It does have mild language. Okay. Akari says it does have... Oh, it does have mild language. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much for, um, for adding that. I really appreciate that. Yeah. So Akari has added some, some language warnings here. So there's going to be mild language. I know some people love to watch the stream with uh possibly their kids uh just a warning there's gonna be some mild language i've not seen it myself but that's the rating that's been given here by akaria so thank you so much warning warning on the language for just a few minutes all right this is ogre's choice oh i already had that open sorry this is ogre's choice jimmy the world of warcraft story let's check it out here's this this is working all right yeah. So, uh, hi, my name's, uh, Bajachi. I'm a level 69 mage here on Trollbane. This here is Jimmy. <laughs> He's my best known buddy in the whole world. What? And we leveled together. We raided together. No. Jeez, even one time we, um, never mind. Anyway, me and Jimmy, we were pretty pumped about the Burning Crusade. You know, you just got lots of new monsters. Okay, well, they're new skins of old monsters, whatever. This uh, is Burning Crusade? Quests. How old is this? Okay, well, the same quests, but, you know, better rewards. Okay, well, maybe they're not really better rewards. They're kind of the same armor skins, too. You're kind of lazy blizzard. But that's not the point. What? Burning Crusade, man, we got sweet new abilities, sweet new spells, and me and Jimmy were all over that. Dramatization. Well, you know, we were anyway. You see, me and Jimmy, we, we kind of had a falling out. When we hit okay. level 64, you know, we headed out to Shathra City. Oh, that was the place. Portals to go to every town, NPCs for everything, man. Shathra was the new Iron Forge. It uh, was the inn. It was a pretty cool place. How did they record but, uh, this? You know, we did this quest, and they told us we needed to pick, you know, between being an Aldor or being a Scryer. Okay. And then, like, it didn't make sense. We had already picked Alliance. That meant we were allies. Now they wanted us to pick different paths. Dramatization. I mean, That's funny. I could be on the same team as a Horde. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Naturally, I whipped up the Thoughtbot, looked at the rewards. Thoughtbot? Scryers had a freaking epic, epic 
mage ring. And hell yes, baby, I'm huh? all over the Professor Plums. That's a clue reference to purple. Anyway, I told Jimmy, let's go Scryer. And he turns to me and he goes, dude, I want to be Aldor. And ogre. oh my freaking God, did I type ogre. WTF <laughs> so fast. You have no idea. It was just like WTF, WTF. And Aldor, I said, all they got is a damn blue staff, Jimmy. Screw the blue staffs. We're going for the epics. Okay. Epics. Epics. Jimmy, man. He wasn't taking any of my crap. No, dude. I want the blue stats. What the heck is that, bot? Did Do you I want to know? The goddamn stats. It, oh, it look. It should be epic, right? And and that was it. Jimmy picked Aldor right on the spot. He didn't even wait. Just bam, uh, picked Aldor. Uh. And you know, I went Scryer. Me, me and Jimmy, we used to be like brothers. That's like exalted reputation, but all the way up. So it's like slash <laughs> nine 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 wild exalted. ogre. So anyway, I picked Scryers and bam, me and Jimmy went from being best friends to hostile standings. Wow. Mm. Jimmy said, you know, he was going to go do some, I don't know, outdoor quests with some of his outdoor crew. And I was just like, So why are they whatever, exactly Jimmy. the same? And like, the model. So, you know, I checked out the Scryers place. They're pretty cool. The sweet elevator. There's giant robot guards. Come on, robots. Freaking blood elves. Anyway, but, uh, you know, they, they were pretty cool. I went up to the innkeeper and he was like, do you want to bind up my house? And I'm like, bitch, I'm a mage. I can port to this city. I don't want to bind in your home. But anyway, the Scryers were, you know, pretty cool. They had some quests I did. It was good. But, you know, the more quests I did, the outdoors started to hate me. Dramatization. Like, that doesn't make any sense. And little did I know, but, you know, me and Jimmy went from being, you know, exalted to neutral to hostile. And That's Khadgar? hated. Damn. And then it happened. Uh, one of the Blood Elf stews gave me this quest. He told me to go poison the Aldor victory party soup. And I was like, dude, I can't do that. Jimmy's an Aldor. That Blood Elf guy didn't even That's look at That's Khadgar? It. it was just like I accepted the quest, and then he didn't want to tell me any more information. I thought bought it. I got the Loke. And people were, I was reading ThoughtBot. They were like, Loke's wow. cheating. And I sent a message on ThoughtBot. I was like, shut up. If you're on ThoughtBot, you're cheating anyway. So, you know, I thought, and then anyway, I looked at Loke, and I went to the soup can, and I was like, Damn, I can't do this. <laughs> Jimmy's an Aldor. And I was standing right in front of the soup holding the poison. And bam, Jimmy caught me. Jimmy just walks right up to me. Jimmy caught me. Pissed. And Jimmy's just like, what the hell, man? Are you poisoning our soup? I caught the last bitch trying to do that. You know what I did? Shot a fireball in his face. And I was like, Jimmy, I wasn't going to do it. It was just a quest, man. Oh, just a quest, Jimmy says. He's like, just a quest? Yeah, well, I slept with your goddamn mother. And I'm like, what the hell, Jimmy? Why'd you sleep with my mom? And he's like, Durr, it was a quest. I was like, dude, you did not have a quest to sleep with my mom. And he's like, yes, I did. Go ask Blizzard. So I did. I sent in a tick, and I was like, so I did. hey, um, is fun. there an outdoor quest where the objective is to sleep with my mother? And sure enough, I had to wait like four hours because, you know, Blizzard response team is awesome. And then they're like... They, they get back to me, and they're like, Hi, this is Blizzard representative, blah, 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 role-playing crap, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, whatever, just give me my damn answer. And they're like, and I had to wait five more minutes, because apparently it takes them an hour to spell check whatever the hell they're saying. Anyway, they were like, please delete your WTF folder and disable all custom user face add-ons. And I'm like, um, what does that have to do with anything? And they're like, sir, could you please install World of Warcraft? And I'm like, dude, I just want to know if there's a quest. Have a nice day. By the light of a loon! Poof! And then the GM was gone. What? Was it customer service? Anyway, some goddamn role players. I don't know. So it got pretty bad between me and Jimmy. You know, we kept pulling pranks on each other. I kept doing scryer quests that screwed over Aldor, and he kept doing Aldor quests Four that hours screwed quick. over everybody, and it just got bad. And then one day, I went to the auction house, and I saw Jimmy had bid on a sweet mage staff. I didn't really want the mage staff. Oh no! But you know, you make a ton of money in Burning Crusade, so you know, I was just like, buy out. Bam. Then I ran to my mailbox. I grabbed that staff. I ran back. Jimmy was still standing there. And I opened trade with him. And Jimmy was just like, what the hell, man? I had the bid on that. And it was on short. I don't... What? Why'd you do that? And I was just like, because you went outdoor, bitch. And then I took that staff. Bam. Disenchanted it on the goddamn spot. No, that's blue, Jimmy dude. was pissed. He was just all like, I'm a charge in my fireball. And I'm like, don't do it, Jimmy. He's like, I'm a fire in my fireball. And I was like, bam, counterspell. Yep. Man, that counterspell pissed off Jimmy. Because Jimmy, he didn't inspect for improved counterspell. So he was just <laughs> like, oh! And, and then he did it. He just plug pulled right on the spot. Just, he was there, disappeared. No. He just probably like kicked his computer over. I don't even know. And then Jimmy. I never saw him again. That was the last of Jimmy. 
a week later, you know, I sent his mama telling game, and I was like, hey, Mrs. Jimmy, um, where's Jimmy been at? And she sends me the triple dot. And I'm like, oh, shit. Don't be the triple dot. Ah, oh, triple dot. Always bad news. Oh, and no. Slowly, you know, I had to wait, and then she, he said, she said, she said it. I can't believe she said it. She was just all like, he's playing EverQuest. Damn. You kicked... So as you can see, Burning Crusade broke up the friendship. Of you were so mean to him, friend. he left the game, found a new game. Doesn't matter how much room cloth I donate towards his family. Jimmy ain't ever coming back. Jimmy ain't coming so back. The moral of this story, kids, is you better damn well be careful about which faction you pick when you head up to Shathra at level 63, 62. It doesn't matter. You better be damn careful. Because <laughs> EverQuest sucks. <laughs> wow that's so crazy this is old man this is old that's crazy absolutely insane really my fun mom. <laughs> thank you ogre ogre what did you like most about that and is there anything you wanted me to uh, pay particular attention to that's hysterical Thoughtbot was basically a way of looking up quests and items and stuff for rewards. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, instead of like, I mean, the game's so big, so it makes sense. That was hysterical. Shout out to Ogre. <laughs> and yeah, the mild language warning is over for now. Um, and thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Akari, for the for the safety checks there. You are amazing. EverQuest is making a comeback. Is it really? I have never even, I feel like I've never even seen EverQuest. I don't even know what it looks like. Truly. Okay, BlizzCon opening ceremony, World of Warcraft. Is that on the movie night too or no? No, it's not. Um, that one's definitely pretty long. So I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to figure out what to do with these extra long ones. We didn't really talk about length limitations until after the fact. So I'm kind of like, eh, what do we do about these ones where it wasn't clarified? Like I said, for Uger Kai, I'll probably ask Uger Kai, um, cause like, you know, we said you can choose one cinematic to react to. And for example, this is all cinematics from a game. Um, so that one, I feel like we can just ask which, which one do you, do you want me to start with the first one? And then you can do your second pick will be the next one, you know? Um, for BlizzCon opening ceremony from Thrax. Um, yeah, what do I do for that one? Well, I know I know Thrax had actually picked before a movie night suggestion, right? Yeah. So maybe I can do this for Thrax. Oh, okay. So the next one is only ten minutes. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let me see. So I think we can probably do Thrax's. It seems like this one just has a uh, has like a live stream intro. I see. I see. So it starts right here. Step, wait, is, is it meant to be, oh, that's most replayed? Wait, is it meant to start at 1123? Is it 2023? It is 2023, yeah. I could do a special stream for the long ones, but yeah. I, the duration included the late start? Ah, I see. Okay. So wait. Okay. This one seems to not be spoilery according to Ikaria, so. Let me, um, this was only in November. Oh, this is so new. Wow. And just the entire intro. Okay. Awesome. It's meant to start there. Yeah, I just clicked and it was actually set up perfectly. So it started at 11. Okay. Yeah, this one, I'm trying to figure out what to do with 25 minutes. Well, I'll start it. It's probably going to cover the rest of the stream at 25 minutes, but let's play. BlizzCon, it's time for a new adventure. One that has grown from the very seeds of what captured our hearts when we first set foot in Azeroth. For veteran players, the got? last 20 years have led us to this. And for those who have yet to join us, now is the time. 
And who better to talk about the first step in this journey? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I can see Chris Metzen. Let's let's meet him. Come on. <laughs> then someone who carved the path in the first place. Everyone, please welcome my friend and the executive creative director of the Warcraft universe, Chris Metzen. Yeah, that's so awesome. So he's he's like the wow goat to you guys, right? This guy. That's awesome. He's back. That's so awesome. What up, BlizzCon? Welcome back, Ogre. Holy smokes! Horde, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> BlizzCon as one. That's awesome. Holy smokes! Thank you, thank you. It is. Uh... Thank you, guys. <laughs> Somebody's like, oh. Man. It has been a long, strange trip to get back to this spot. Yeah. I tell you that. It has been interesting this past year being back under the hood of World of Warcraft. Yeah, under the hood. It has reminded me of a few things. One, I love Warcraft. Oh, thank you, Christopher. Yeah, I love the Unreal video. Thanks for your Number pick, Christopher. Two, that was awesome. You know what? I really miss this work. And number three, on the real, it feels amazing to be back and part of this Blizzard family again. You can tell he's really passionate about it. I like that. I respect that. As Holly said a bit ago, next year is the 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft. I can't even believe it. Whatever. How many of y'all have been playing from the beginning? I mean, if you're at the con, like it's highly likely. So given that he's varying, yeah, enthrall. What a beast. What was that? Doesn't matter. Hmm? We started thinking. So what next? What next? Right? What expansion hook? Yeah. What single storyline could possibly match such a historic occasion? We started thinking about well I did. The good old days, right? And some of those early mythic ideas that kind of established the background of Warcraft. Okay, I like where he's going with it. thinking about even some of the newer ideas that have played out more recently, but still in a way, feel a little unresolved. And in the mix of all that stuff. I love it. In the mix of all those ideas, particular things like what the hell has Magni actually been babbling about all these years? <laughs> Was the thing that he came to warn us about in Battle for Azeroth, did it, did it actually play out? Or is there potentially something darker still looming on the horizon? I don't know. I could hear Thrall in there. I could hear Thrall on that line. Will there eventually be an apocalyptic confrontation between the forces oh. of the light and the void. Oh. Talk to me, BlizzCon. I'll tell you what, for nothing, my pally main, I'm all in on that kind of thing. If it happens, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. And really the big question for all the marbles, what yeah, he's building up. actually been doing since the dawn of civilization. Yes. He's really building this up. What is the real purpose of all of their cute little installations slammed into the side of the planet? Do we know everything we need to know about their real intentions for our world? 
Just saying. <laughs> BlizzCon. All of these hooks. And a hundred more. Uh, 68. Carry the two. A bunch more. <laughs> That's funny. All cooking in the pot. Cooking. He's cooking. Started to reveal a storyline. Mm -hmm. Something epic. How epic? Real epic. <laughs> a storyline that in almost every way <laughs> feels like the culmination of the first 20 years of our storytelling. Come on. A storyline provided we we do our jobs, we do the thing <laughs> that will vector us into the next 20 years of adventure. All right. Sounds like he's cooking something great, man. Sounds like he's cooking something amazing. BlizzCon. Are you with me, BlizzCon? <laughs> we call this storyline the World Soul Saga. All right. That's a good name. The World Soul Saga is so epic, as we covered. It cannot be contained within any single expansion. What? It is built to play out over multiple expansions over the next few years. Jeez. Come on now. So this guy invented all the lore, you're saying, like him alone. Having said that, we are working on multiple ways to deliver this adventure to you a little faster than you're used to. We're not going to get into it at this BlizzCon, forgive me. But keep your ears peeled, I assure you, we are moving with purpose. And the last thing we really want is for y'all to have to have your grandkids controlling your mouse and your keyboard trying to wrap this thing up. So, <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> also, given the scale of this monster, we have decided did, to change it up today. Okay. Here we go. Multiple expansions? Dun, 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 dun. He's really building this up. Instead of just debuting your next expansion all on its lonesome. Multiple. We have decided to give you a glimpse at your next three expansions. Three? Right, that's actually hot. I did not know about this. Is he gonna is he gonna say the names of them? I did not know at all. This is awesome. Does this meet with your approval, BlizzCon? My friends, I'm going to warn you, there may be mild spoilers ahead. Actually, I'm just kidding. They ain't mild. Buckle up. They ain't Are mild. Are you ready, BlizzCon? Yeah! All right. What does he got for us? Redacted. Redacted. The first part Redacted. <laughs> of the World Soul Saga and your 10th expansion is called World of Warcraft. The war within. All right, he's really gonna say all three. Hello, Orange. How you doing? In this chapter, you will be descending into the heart of Azeroth itself, exploring new subterranean kingdoms and engaging with ancient cultures like the Earthen and the terrifying Nerubians of Ashkahet. Whoa. But as Last the redact. <laughs> darkness close in around our precious world soul. Uh huh? You. Yeah, that's you. Will be called to do what you always do. Oh. Which is dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. <laughs> Talk to me, BlizzCon. Amazing. That's hype. Yeah. The second part 
of the World Soul Saga. What's it called? It's called World of Warcraft Midnight. Midnight? That's a cool name. In this chapter, you will be returning. Ready? To the old world. What? To the fabled lands of Quel'Thalas. Quel'Thalas? There, the forces of the Void have invaded Azeroth, intent on snuffing out the light of the Sunwell and plunging the world into darkness and fear. You will not only help reunify the scattered elven tribes of Azeroth, ah. but you will make your stand with the forces of the light and banish the shadow forever. Cool. Yeah, what? This could be a lot of different stuff. Of course, BlizzCon, it is Azeroth. Things may not go to plan. <laughs> Things may just spiral wildly out of control. Dances. Leading us to the third part of the World Soul Saga. Whoa, Ogre. Thank you so much for the 20 super chat, man. Okay. Thank you so much for the 20. Hope you liked my pick. I wanted to show you an example of an old video that people used to make. Video sharing used to be harder when YouTube was young. So when stuff like this came out, everyone talked about it. Hey man, you know what? That makes perfect sense. I totally get why you showed me that now. And it was very nostalgic. It brought me back to a very different time in kind of like digital filmmaking and uh, I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for the 20, man. Crazy super chat. Appreciate you, Ogre. World of and I'm Warcraft, loving this. The last titan. The last titan? Thank you so much, Ogre. That's crazy support, man. In this chapter, A boon. You will again be returning to the old world. For the Philadelphia. This time to the wintry lands of Northrend. What does he mean when he says old world, guess? Like back in time? And there at Ulduar, you will bear witness to the return of the Titans to Azeroth. The Titans. And there, you will uncover a vast conspiracy. One that stretches throughout the history of the world. What is it? One that will challenge everything you think you know about the Titans, their intentions. What? And the true nature of Azeroth itself. In time, my friend. In time. What the heck? And it's called Silithus. There you go. The old world. BlizzCon. My hope. Old location. Our dear hope is that you can see when it comes to WoW storytelling, we ain't screwing around. He just said, like, we are playing for all the marbles. Yeah, he's, we he's are working to establish he's got a ball. thundering heartbeat for this franchise. Now, <laughs> he's got balls for saying this. He's like, we're going to deliver 100%. I respect it. I like the confidence. Now, now, BlizzCon. Hearken to me. Always wanted to say that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Whether you are a current player, and I'm going to bet that most of you are, or maybe you jumped off the WoW train a few expansions ago, now is the time to come home. Okay. That's, he's, that's very now confident in the set. time to pull on your boots, pick up your broadsword or your favorite glowy staff <laughs> and get in this fight <laughs> friends Azeroth needs her defenders now more than ever now in a few moments oh boy we are going to give you a deeper look at the war within oh, yep but before we do that I want to leave you with a little something to chew on I want to remind you all that sometimes 
very epic things can begin with small, heartfelt moments. What you're about to see is one of those moments. And with that, BlizzCon. Proud defenders of Azeroth! Yes. <laughs> Let the World Soul Saga begin! It's interesting that he prefaced it with that. It's like, don't worry, this is an intimate scene, but it's gonna get epic. Because he knows a lot of people are gonna freak out. But this is the best cinematic <laughs> in Warcraft. I'm so curious about the audience react. They're probably like, who is that? Until they see the sword. I've just like, I've learned so much about Anduin. I'm so curious, like the audience reaction to him. It's too good. You're here to tell me we don't get to hide. Is that it? <laughs> you needed time. That's Chris. We stayed away. When did you guys realize it was Anduin? But How long did it take? By itself. Heals nothing. Beautiful scene. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect yeah. many have. So sad. I love this part. The music. Something. Someone. Is calling out from the heart of the world. Oh. Like a voice from a dream. I love the music right there. Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. And this is the shot. Ah, I posted it today. It means so much more after seeing that cutscene now. And there's the Arthas pose. I'm not that person anymore. I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Unbelievable. Not after what I've done. There it is. You are not your past, Anduin. Here we go. God, he can feel it. I trust you. So visceral. Beautiful moment. Beautiful acting performance. It's crazy thinking back, I didn't know anything that was going on. Hear me. They're getting worse. Look. Whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. I will. That's powerful. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. But that sword was huh. aimed at someone. That sword. The music. It's so uh, amazing. It's 
chills, man. Chills every time. And after knowing all the story behind it, too, like that sword, just saying that is so wild, you know? It's so good. We're not ignoring that sword anymore. Ah, she said it. I do have to say though, uh, every time I see that cinematic, and I've seen it many. <laughs> what times, are they looking at? It gets me right in my heart. Yes. Uh, it feels like a new beginning, and it feels like coming home, and we are so excited about where we are going. And now that you've seen or heard the overview for the World So Saga, let's talk about the War Within. As we all gather and explore beneath the surface, we'll find an ancient Nerubian civilization. They will be led by someone we were first introduced to in Legion, Zalatath, a harbinger of the Void. Interesting. The Void brings destruction and darkness that threatens all light in our world. The last time we saw Zalatath, she promised we would meet again. Oh, is that an Alex Strasser coat? Out, she was right. And while Anduin, Thrall, and others share the same visions emanating from the heart of the world, Anduin. some are seeing something quite different. Oh, is this the, uh, yeah. My vision. Who is that? Are not the same as the others. The in-game's looking fresh. No radiance. Is this Sylvanas' no sister? Just the shadow. Whoa. Taunting me. From below. Oh! That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Dorn. The ringing deeps. Awesome. Delves. Forge your war band. I love the music. That's a new race? I think I've seen this before. I think we watched this. That's so awesome. The fate of our world rests upon the edge of a knife. And our battle oh. lies deep within. That's that's the that's the knife woman, right? That was a cool. That was a cool reveal there. I really like that. In the that. war within, alongside beautiful, unique underground zones, we will have challenging dungeons and raids, and some new features too that are built to last. If you like exploring on your own with a couple of friends or family, we have Dells. These are a variety of bite-sized experiences for one to five players. That oh, that's fun! You can play like that. Game rewards. You may also find in your delve a familiar character who'd be willing to fight alongside you. And if you're like Zalata. me and you have an obsession with alts, we have war bands. <laughs> an obsession with alts. In this feature, you could treat all of your characters like family and share banks, reputations, transmogs, and more. I know all you guys get alts, so you must be excited about this. You must be really excited about this. We're also introducing a new layer of customization for your class specs with hero talent. You might want to take your character down the path of a dark ranger, let's say, or a farseer, and more. A farseer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Carro. Thank you so much for being here. Thank also, you so much. Also, during your travels underground, you will meet the Earthen Dwarves, and you'll be able to unlock them as our new allied race. The Earthen Dwarves, they look cool. I mean, who doesn't love a dwarf? Uh, the facial hair options are spectacular. 
Um, <laughs> there's so much more to talk about, so please join the what, what Next panel that's coming up right after the opening ceremony right here. What I can tell you, though, it sounds awesome, the call Warband. to get into the fight to save our world will ring out when the War Within releases next year. 40 alt. And lastly, I sincerely want to say, we are so excited to begin this new journey with you. And from our hearts to yours, thank you for bringing our world to life. That's nice of her to say. That's really nice of her to say. That was great. Yeah, thank you so much, Thrax. Shout out to Thrax. That one is also done now. We are doing great right here. We are crushing this list now. Um, almost, we, we've almost made it through the list. Um, we have about 15 left-ish until we are on our uh, second run of everybody's choices. So that's going to be really fun. Um, and I just want to shout out all the Dragoons. Thank you guys for choosing these amazing picks. Um, I've had a really good time going through them, and we're just getting started on those. Like I said, if you guys ever want to provide more context, uh, if you missed it live, if you want to tell me like, oh, Phil, this is what I wanted you to catch in the video, please, you know, let me know. Uh, probably, I guess probably the Dragoon section is the best place to do that. You can just at me and say, uh, hey, I wanted to, um, you know, talk about this in the video or make sure you caught this or why you liked it. Anything. Love to hear why you guys chose them. And um, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you all. Um, that's going to be it for the night. We went a little bit over... Uh, time there just because you know we were going hard wanting to uh finish that viewer choice but i know thrax has been a member for a really long time so i wanted to make sure we got that in uh for future reference we are gonna um i'm gonna ask you guys to keep this a little bit shorter but just because we didn't have that rule up until that point we'll uh we'll watch that one but guys thank you so so much for being here i appreciate you all and what a what an amazing night my review so far on dragonflight is is fantastic what a really cool start to a new journey in Warcraft, and I love where it's going. But I want to thank everybody for being here. I cannot wait to play the game with you in, in a short time. Thank you, everybody, for making tonight such a fun new journey. Um, and this is our final new journey before we do the true journey, which is going to be so good. Oh, my goodness, Jerry. Thank you so much, Jerry Bors. Jerry has gifted five boons of power to the Philidari. To Knight of Sarcasm, Fernando Flores, BJ Honeycutt, Caldris, and Lady Sandrell. Thank you so much for these boons of power, Jerry. <laughs> oh, man, that's amazing. So, so kind of you. Thank you, guys. If you got one of those gifts and you're in chat, please, please thank Jerry for these boons. You guys are the absolute best, and I hope you enjoy those uh, awesome streams. Thank you, Mags. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, let me see those swords in chat. Yeah, that's awesome. Make sure to thank Jerry. That's super generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support, guys. It keeps the stream going. Keeps the channel going. It means the world to me. Thank you for the super chats as well, guys. Lots of new dragons tonight as well. Can't wait to see all of your videos that you chose. Any schedule one I'll play? Uh, my schedule is we got to finish this, so I don't know exactly how many streams left. We made it through 13 cinematics today. Many of them were really long. They were like three minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. So probably going to go quicker in the future. Uh, we made it through 13 today. So we might up the pace if we get like kind of behind on this. But I'm really enjoying this pace as always. So I just thank you all for being here. But have a lovely night, everyone. I hope everybody's safe, sound, happy. And I hope we could distract you from some of your troubles with a few hours of just chilling out together in a positive environment. So thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. Have a lovely night, and I will catch you next time. Hop in the Discord if you're new. Make sure to sub if you just discovered us here on YouTube. And um, oh, one more time, I'll shout out our, uh, our new thing that we're doing. And that is this. If you guys want to subscribe to Philip and Aaliyah, our new channel we are working on trying to get to our first thousand subs so every subscribe means the most to us and uh get in there early so you can be a part of the movement all right guys i appreciate you all so much have a lovely evening and i will see you next time philidari 
Stay prepared. <laughs> Stay prepared. All right, thank you, Costco. Thank you to all of our mods too, especially Akaria for setting up this insane list. Really appreciate it. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you. Philidari, signing off, friends. Fairly well. Be safe.